This creepy paranormal video is believed to be somewhere from Russia. A man cautiously crosses his child's room late at night, clearly frightened by something scary enough that he wants it caught on camera for the world to see. He closes a window that he doesn't remember opening. It's here, he's sure of it. If he keeps waiting, it will be caught on camera. Scary moments are ahead. A pale figure claws at the glass. The sighting of a ghost in the window makes him drop the camera shortly after the apparition is caught on tape. The video is decent quality but the ghost is low resolution, so I'm not sure if this ghost video is real. Take a closer look and tell me if you think this paranormal video is real or not. This footage was taken by an American tourist who was visiting Romania. He was just walking around a local zoo on his own, checking out the sights when he hears about a new attraction that is unlike any of the others. He is ushered into a dark farmhouse along with some other curious observers. Almost immediately, the tone of the video changes from skeptical to serious. It's hard to say exactly how, but something just feels wrong all of a sudden. You can hear the villagers talking among themselves, excitedly as they push past. Farm animals are making noises as the American makes his way deeper inside. This section is very dark now and even though the Romanians are speaking in a different language, you can tell that people are sounding worried and concerned as they come closer and closer to the main attraction. Finally, the American tourist sees it for himself. <laughs> Sitting across from them on a straw floor is what appears to be a white humanoid creature with black eyes and a wide gap for a mouth. It makes a series of tortured gurgling sounds and then charges towards its cage as the video quickly ends. It's hard to tell if this is a real creature or a man in a suit because the lighting is very dim. At the same time, Romania is a very rural country and anything could be lurking in the woods. Maybe someone really did capture this thing and drag it back to society to be gawked at by paying crowds. If this thing is real, then the poor humanoid sounds like it's been severely mistreated and probably needs help. This extreme close-up of the moon captures an unknown object floating at what appears to be mere meters over the celestial body. Alexi underscore N shares this mysterious footage with the YouTube community. Can you guess what it is? In fact, it looks like something drifts down toward the moon from the floating object. Folks in the comments have some wild theories. Are extraterrestrials refueling on the moon, as some suggest? It's possible, but I think it could also be the International Space Station. Although the ISS is only 250 miles from the Earth, while the moon is 230,000 miles, in photographs the ISS often looks much closer to the moon than it actually is. But even if it is the ISS, that doesn't really explain the object that appears to be traveling toward the moon from it. Additionally, the uploader has CGI videos on their channel. This one isn't marked as such, but there is still the possibility this is special effects. Share what you think in the comments. I'm torn on this one. Encounters with strangers in abandoned places in the paranormal are scary enough. So what happens when you encounter some type of humanoid creature in the middle of a forest? Strange Videos published this footage in December 2016. The footage is taken in the woods. You can hear birds singing and chirping. It seems like a calming, pleasant, peaceful nature walk. Then you spot it. Down the center of the shot creeps past a dark creature. It's hard to tell what the figure is at this distance, but its shoulders are hunched and the way it moves makes it seem not of this world. A closer shot of the creature calls its species even further into question. Most in the comments of the video seem to agree that it's not a Bigfoot. The gait and the creature's arm length seem to invalidate the Bigfoot theory. 
So what else could this creature possibly be? Without any additional footage, there will be no way to tell for sure. Surveillance cameras sometimes capture images you just can't handle. Posted by one Dante one to the Sir Spook subreddit, you might want to stay inside at night after watching this clip. Dante explains that they put out trail cams because they lost their cat. While they were working out in their garage at night, they set off their motion detector and, a moment later, caught this on camera. The clip plainly shows the men working in the light of the garage, night has fallen, and the rest of the scene is quite dark. That is, until a phantom spirit drifts into view. The vapor-like phantom has a human figure and flies in from the top right of the screen. In fact, it appears as though the figure strolls right into the frame. MuggleMad32 writes, This is a really good capture of an apparition, while Explore with Sunny adds that it's pretty unexplainable. Is it truly unexplainable? If so, do you hold the key to the explanation? Unfortunately, this clip isn't longer, or we may have seen where this phantom is off to. Let's hope he didn't do anything to that poor cat. Lori Lee Craig and her husband have a bad feeling about a mysterious handprint on their wall that neither one of them can explain. Okay, because it's like you can't see it, and then suddenly it's there. And there's no way. As you can hear in the background, their child has been crying all day, but there's nothing normal about this behavior at all. Listen for yourself. Stairs, can you move up a little bit? So even if you stood on the stairs, because there's the handprint, you, you, you can't, you reach, can't it. reach it. The two worried parents walk around the house to see if they can find what's wrong. That's when they notice this strange handprint above their child in an impossible to reach corner of the stairway. This thing is six feet above the stairway. I wasn't sure what to make of this video until I kept hearing the shrieks of this poor little girl. No skeptic can explain these cries of pure terror. It sounds like the spirit is still in front of her doing who knows what. Keep your eyes peeled for this one. YouTuber Cryptid Encounter shares this scary video of an unknown creature in the darkness. <laughs> Did you see it? Watch for the closet. What is that thing? The creature's eyes are glowing. Human eyes don't do that. Is this some sort of nocturnal cryptid species? I think it might be. Its skin looks reddish, although that may just be the light. It otherwise looks human, but somehow not human. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. They don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now, he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room, and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while, he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the f Roger! I'm the they are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko Vlogs to Devil's Forest and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. Oh, I'm trying to see if there's any. Bro. What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Alright. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. What... 
or maybe it's just what is it for jasko is right that it's not natural shortly after they feel like they're being followed walking towards us right now um i don't know if it's that same person but let's get out of here while I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. Police in Michigan need to find a woman who has fallen from a dock through the ice before it's too late. The officer comes across two fishermen holding on to a poor woman who fears for her life. If they let go, she's going under. There's little time left. She's freezing. Hypothermia is the name for a dangerous drop in body temperature. From prolonged exposure to cold, you can lose your life from it in as little as five minutes. You got a hold of her? Signs of hypothermia include red skin, fatigue, losing her strength. And numbness. I'm Take numb. a hand. Take I'm one. completely <clears throat> numb. So it's not looking good for her. Her core body temperature is lowering. Her organs are slowly turning off to preserve heat and protect the brain. They have one last chance to save her. It's too hard. You can't. Come on! Oh Alright, stay right here. Stay right here. I'm stuck. Grab a hold. Oh. One, two, three. Up! Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. The police take over and get the job done in moments. One of the fishermen, an older gentleman, is absolutely exhausted and unable to stand by the time it's through. He and his friend are absolute heroes for not letting go until the police arrived, which actually took 15 minutes but to them felt like 5. The woman later said she was starting to lose consciousness, a sure sign that she couldn't have withstanded much longer in that cold water. Hopefully we can all learn from the scariest moments of her life and always be careful when fishing on the dock. Had other people not been around to help, she would have been lost beneath the ice. Oh my This is a really humorous and random situation, but let's face it, if a wild seabird were to land on you, I don't think many of us would be able to take it with a smile like this brave cameraman does. He makes no sudden movements, not wanting to attract the bird's hungry gaze or its beak to his fingers. Believe it or not, I looked up pelican human encounters and found out that the sides of its beak are razor sharp, so this situation could have actually gone wrong quick. I don't know whether this pelican wanted to take some of his fingers or take a rest, but it seems to realize it's outnumbered and takes off. A YouTuber named Yuya makes a video about microwavable desserts, but it accidentally turns into a creepy doll video instead. The doll is caught moving on camera at 7 minutes and 14 seconds. Los armo con el alma the doll moves its arms by itself at the end of the video for no reason at all. It has nothing to do with the topic of the video, and everyone is pointing out how weird it was. I don't think she was doing this for views, because if so then it would most likely happen in the very beginning. Besides that, with over 20 million subscribers, Yuya is already a successful YouTuber and wouldn't need to do something like this for attention anyway. It never happens again and hasn't happened since as far as I know, but if any other creepy doll videos end up on her channel, which I have a feeling they will, then I will be sure to give them a full analysis. Something is watching Sunny and CJ during this Randonautica horror exploration published in May of 2021. Sunny Deeds writes, On this adventure, CJ and I traveled back to the haunted Pokemoke Forest for another Randonautica adventure. We never expected this to happen. The this that Sunny is speaking of unfurls in the darkness. They tell Randonautica to bring it on and throw it at us and are sent by the app to near a cemetery. As Sunny and CJ are outside their vehicle, an eagle-eyed commenter catches hidden people watching them. He writes that one is behind the bent branch over the ditch while the other appears to be recording them back with his or her own camera. Later, you can hear someone walking around if you listen closely. <laughs> Shh. 
shortly after, something is being smashed in the distance. That something turns out to be CJ's car window. What the f*** was that? What was that? When the pair return to their vehicle, they find the back window obliterated. It's absolutely shattered with no clear sign as to why. There is a sign, however, as to how. A brick sits amidst the broken glass while the pair scream into the wilderness, asking who's out there. Sunny scans around. Briefly, you can see a light flash in the distance. It's still, it's still, it's still cracking or something. Oh my God. Do we have the answer to who as well? Something is definitely out there, but what he wants only Rando Nautica knows. YouTube team The Ouija Brothers are exploring the haunted whale's house in this scary short, and they call this the scariest moment of their lives. They start to feel something right away. Now, this is meant to be one of the most haunted pubs in Wales. And I will say, I'm on edge. It feels like something's going to happen. When they ask the spirit a question, something moves. Do you want to hurt my friend Stephen? There's got to be someone here. Whoa! The door just moved. The door moved ridiculously. One of them goes to check it out, and they're met with terror. Oh, I don't feel nice up here. Hello? Oh, it's time to leave. In hell, I'm out. I'm pretty sure the whale's house doesn't want them there, or if it does, it welcomes them to the other side. It's late at night when a YouTuber named Single Athel hears something just outside of his home. His curiosity outweighs his fear, and so he takes a camera outside with him to try and find the source. At least one person is sure this is a demon, but a lot of people are saying it's just a fox. Let me know what you hear. This video was taken in December, which does fall in line with the fox mating season. Still, it's kind of strange that the person living here claims to have never heard this before and doesn't know what it is. Here's another clip to help you analyze the source with me. What is that noise? Was this a fox or something much worse? Like the rake. I'm so startled right now. I think I think I may have stumbled across. While alone in the woods, a YouTuber named Christina Roberts sets her sights on two mysterious creatures she has never seen before. They look to be covered in fur and appear to walk upright as they spread out to cover more ground. At 30 seconds, one turns to reveal a broad, hairy back and may even be carrying one of its offspring. The two creatures are caught on Christina's camera, but they don't detect her because she is wearing camouflage and quietly whispering to herself out of view. They sit down in a clearing and she uses the opportunity to sneak away. I personally think creatures look to be about normal size and could just be people in gorilla suits. Hundreds of people have left comments agreeing that this is one of the scariest forest creature videos they've ever seen. So I guess I could be wrong. Tell me what you see. A paranormal YouTube channel called Northwest Ghost Adventures claims his haunted attic has the most ghost activity out of anywhere in the UK. Here are two of the best examples of paranormal evidence. On February of 2018, the Northwest Ghost Adventures channel made a breakthrough EVP session with a possessed doll named Lily. Three times in a row, the same male voice speaks through the spirit box. Hi, spirits. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. Can you tell me, tell me the name of this doll? My name's Lily. I think it even starts talking backwards here, which is something I've never heard a spirit box even do before, and also possibly evidence of a demonic ghost EVP caught on camera. Yeah. 
The ghost hunter administers some more paranormal experiments, and Lily the possessed doll passes them all. Can you show us an all, please? Thank you. Can you show me your orbs? A month later, he claims to have been possessed while investigating. He spends the night in his haunted attic, and his eyes open when the spirit box says awake. Awake. Uh. Uh. He looks around in a trance-like state for some time. Notice how the ghost meter stays maxed out for over a full minute, beginning at 1 minute and 7 seconds, and continuing until the moment his head hits the pillow at 2 minutes and 26 seconds, at which point the lights go out entirely. As if the demon has left. Was I possessed, he later asks. And I think most of us will agree that yes, he was. A YouTuber named Dave World catches what in his words is a ghost standing in the middle of the road motionless. Or it could be a kid standing in the road to be weird, as somebody else points out. I thought this video looked familiar, and then I remembered this strange roadside encounter that Chills covered a while back. This is what a YouTuber named Joe Rob TV saw two years prior. I don't know if they are the same person or not, but both are standing with their arms behind their back in the exact same way and have a bizarre long neck and big ears, so there's a strong chance. One video has short sleeves and the other has long sleeves. A ghost doesn't change clothes, so I don't think it's a ghost. I'll keep looking for videos of this strange highway humanoid, who I'm gonna call the Long Neck Man, and keep you updated. What looks like a routine traffic stop suddenly becomes extraterrestrial within the blink of an eye. A police officer asks for a license and registration when things take an unexpected turn. The police officer looks normal up to this point, but then he makes a slight moan and hunches over. You can see all that is left is a smoldering pile of ashes. I can't tell if his clothes were disintegrated as he was beamed into a ship, or if he was simply disintegrated by an energy force field. This could be scripted, but the text in the bottom right and the police chatter both seem authentic, so maybe this video is real after all. If anyone understands police code and knows what they are saying in the background radio chatter, then please let me know. Maybe it can help us solve this strange video. Is this cat talented, or is it possessed? Published by Darl Zand in May of 2012, this couple captured their cat acting out of character, crawling between the upper door frames near the ceiling like some crazy trapeze artist. As the couple is filming, a mysterious, vibrant blue streak flies toward the camera. The cameraman sees it in the moment and comments on it. Well, that was weird. Was that a ghost orb? Some in the comments certainly think so, but most think the cat was scared beyond measure, not possessed. The cat even appears to watch the strange orb as it flies across the room. What do you think? Scared, possessed, or something else altogether? A YouTuber named Chastity Pineda TV has a haunted basement. As this paranormal video shows, her camera detects motion at 2.52 a.m., but she can't see anything, only the sound of ghost footsteps. And eight minutes later is when this 3 a.m. paranormal experience is archived for her to look at later. She puts the camera in a different spot, and on another night, 11.45 to be precise, she catches the swing in motion with all of the lights on, and at 2.20 the next afternoon, the swing is moving on its own and something new happens. Listen again. Did you hear the creepy kid's voice when the stick falls?
That's an old walking stick they're interacting with, by the way. Perhaps this object is what's causing these events. This thermal camera captured a baby's cry, living people, and not so living people. First, the baby is heard. Next, a not so living person is seen on camera. And again here. Apparently, this is the background without the thermal camera on. And then lastly, a female EVP is heard. What does she know? My guess. I think she knows who the not-so-living person is lurking around the room. While walking down an empty street at night, this man encountered not one but three witches posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Enrique Glue. He hears them before he sees them. The witches are making these horror movie noises that are creepy in and of themselves. <laughs> As he walks, he spies this figure off to his right. He then makes a run for it, but their scary wails follow him. Next, he spies this figure to the left. He continues running as the screaming gets crazier. <laughs> And lastly, another figure in white coming from this alleyway to the right. Many in the comments think the noise sounds like cats or an upset husky. Others say this is obviously the call for the witch meeting. What do you think is happening here? I can't imagine it's anything good. <laughs> May 17, 2006, at 8.12 p.m., the Monterey Witch of Mexico was caught on video flying just above the Mexican hills. She glides above the ground, just as you would imagine a witch to fly through the air, floating through the sky serenely. There's a good several yards between her and the hills below, with plenty of blue between. After the clear view of her dark shape against the skyline, her profile is shown as a white speck against the green hills as she skates across a canyon. The video goes on for a good two minutes and it doesn't appear to be a hoax as the being traverses the cliffs. The figure is tall and cylindrical, flying across a very windy canyon, which makes some UFO researchers believe that it can't be normal. It must be paranormal. Diana Perla Chapa, a UFO group leader and researcher from Monterey and a popular Mexican TV host and UFO investigator confirms this. Experts say that there is no way something could move so steadily because it's a very windy canyon, she said. Speaking at the Mutual UFO Network of Los Angeles conference, have you ever heard your loved one's voice coming from another world? Posted to TikTok by Gio Van Lima, this creepy video will catch you off guard. The man recording hears a woman's voice which he identifies as his girlfriend's coming from around the corner, but he turns to find her asleep next to him. He writes that they were alone at the time, so who or what is trying to lure him into another room? Is this one of those demon spirits? I think that's a strong possibility. Midlothian Scotland is no stranger to witches. Salem was bizarre enough, but the great Scottish witch hunt was on a whole other level. This drone video sure seems to suggest that witches continue to walk among us, or at least they walk in quiet fields within our vicinity. 
That's what this alleged witch was doing when captured on video by a drone. The woman dressed in a red skirt, black top, and with long, lanky, black, maybe gray hair, is first seen standing quite still in the field. The video then shows her turning around, swaying slightly, her face quite pale. She seems to be dancing or performing some ritual as she raises her hands in the air and then places a foot forward. Is this a real life witch? If not, what in the world is she doing? Did you know that man has explored more of Mars and the moon than we've explored the depths of our own oceans? Which leads us to some of the strangest oddities on Earth, including this one. The giant's pyrosome, looking like a large transparent tube slide. A giant's pyrosome is comprised of thousands of identical clones of zooids that form an up to 60 foot hollow cylinder that can be wide enough for a grown man to fit inside. The free floating tube appears like a ghostly discarded piece of see-through fabric known as sea pickles. Giant pyrosomes are bioluminescent, which means you can see them glowing blue-green in the sea at night. Published to YouTube by Ross Overstreet in June of 2018 and supplemented by footage from Luis Bringas in December of 2014, this giant pyrosome off the southern coast of San Clemente Island will send you off the deep end. These videos show the creature in action or rather in action as it floats unobtrusively near the seafloor. What would you do if you crossed paths with this oceanic nightmare? Would you be brave enough to swim through? And more importantly, would you make it to the other side? While on a dirt road leading to a graveyard, this ghost hunter was hunted. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in October of 2021, he casts his flashlight around in the trees while walking through the darkness. After a while, he starts hearing strange noises. Is that a cacophony of animals or something else? As the ghost hunter continues, he rounds a tree to see this robed figure standing not far off. The figure is very still and seems to have a light cast on its face. The ghost hunter doesn't stick around a second longer. He takes off running. Did he narrowly escape this horrific fate? Was he about to become a sacrifice? I think he may have walked right into a scary ritual. A YouTuber and his friend are riding a motorcycle throughout the Indian town of Uti when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said, it must have really upset the other person because after driving in a straight line for about another minute, this happens. <laughs> They come across the same person as before, yet this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot faster than what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit and it looks like they actually get off their bike to flee. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real because there is no added music or sound effects, just raw footage. If anyone is from the town of Uti or lives nearby, let me know if these sightings are common in the area. Or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. Don't let Randonautica take you to just any random place or you might live to regret it. This video is a prime example of why. Alright, going Randonautic. And it took us to this shady park in the middle of nowhere, so let's see what we find. I came across it on a Vietnamese YouTube channel. After doing some digging, I was able to track down the original source to the TikTok account at Haley underscore AIG. Watch this next part closely. Did you see it? Something just peeked out from behind that tree, but that's not all. 
After the group crosses the bridge, they see the nightmare girl plain as day. I think we have to go over this bridge and our location's a little down there. What the f***? That would be enough to make me abandon this Randonautica mission, which the team actually considers doing. Oh, uh, what the f***? Uh, should we keep going? But they don't, and then this happens. Why is she following us? Although we can safely assume this is expertly composed fiction, that doesn't mean my soul didn't leave my body while watching this. Dominic Mancuso has been involved in an ongoing feud over something he doesn't even understand. All he knows is that his neighbors are apparently obsessed with watching him and making him feel as uncomfortable as possible. It's all part of a six-part series that spans over the course of months. Very little of their behavior makes any sense. When Dominic finally has had enough and confronts his neighbors, this is apparently all they have to say. <laughs> the strange laughter coming from Dominic's neighbor is both creepy and slightly concerning at the same time. His neighbor ducks under the fence and keeps bothering him later in weird new ways. By the end of it, Dominic still has no idea what his neighbors want from him. And quite frankly, neither do I. If something knocks on a door in an abandoned home, don't answer. Published by Indra Saputra Official in March of 2022, this ghost hunter is faced with something that wants in. When he opens the door, Indra finds an empty bathroom. After turning back to the rest of the room, he sees a shadow peeking up over a wall. It slowly pulls down out of sight. <laughs> When Indra rounds the corner to look, nothing is there. Did the figure manage to creep out soundlessly? Or is Indra facing off with nothing but a shadow? Alright guys, I just got a call about an abandoned National Guard armory. Movement was detected on a motion alarm system, and now a safety officer named Beam 32 gets some tries to convince himself that he's not scared as he approaches a building known to be very scary and haunted. Now, some people around here say that it's haunted and blah, 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 blah. I don't think it's haunted. You know, that's just stuff that scary people say. It's not haunted. He almost successfully calms himself down until he gets to the entrance and finds the door wide open. We're going in. Oh God, please don't let me die. Please make yourself known. Do not jump out. I thought I heard something. He knows he's in trouble when his flashlight begins flickering while he walks down a long, dark hall, a classic sign of the paranormal rapidly draining his equipment of the battery life. I'm dropping 306 to dispatch. What the f What's going on? Yo, what is. What's going on with my light? He steps into a well-lit hall and waits for backup when the paranormal strangeness ramps up and it's all caught on video. I need you to send me additional units. Where are my additional units? This is going the lights in the hallway turn off and on much like his flashlight was doing. He runs into an actual police car at the end, so I think there might have been real paranormal activity caught on camera at this haunted building. This house is empty and yet, heavy breathing is heard over your shoulder. What would you do? YouTuber Sandria Mosses shares this creepy video of what she believes is an evil demon in her haunted house. <laughs> To me, that sounds more like a rasp than heavy breathing. <gasps> the 
The clip ends abruptly, but whatever briefly appears in the upper hall is the most terrifying part of this video to me. Watch closely. What in the world was that? Coupled with the rasping noise, I think that lightning flash was the demon itself. Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile, shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera switches wings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road, somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. A ring camera caught yet another attempted intruder in the act. Actually, this time too. Published to YouTube in a ring cam video by Full Moon Crazies in July of 2019, the surveillance camera was placed behind a lamp and captures a pair of thieves going into a home during the Christmas season. The thieves are partially hiding their faces with their hoodies, and they seem to spy the ring camera right away as they look directly at it. After gathering some backpacks, likely filled with the taken goods, one of the intruders can be seen knocking the camera down to avoid its capturing further incriminating footage, but he didn't totally succeed. Two more intruders are caught on camera entering the room from the hallway. The clip ends without further explanation. These intruders more than likely made off like bandits, but we can only hope this video evidence was enough to catch them. Either way, this cost them Christmas, as they were sure to end up on Santa's naughty list. The Adventures of Hamad Salhai has the keys to an apartment that is slowly being taken over by a powerful jinn. Once inside, he begins a ceremony with candles. I don't know if this is a summoning or a cleansing ritual, but I do know that what happens as a result is beyond creepy. First of all, the flame from the candle remains completely horizontal and still. Then his flashlight flickers with paranormal energy and the ceremony kicks into full swing. Huh? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله الذي لا در مع اسمه شيء a door closes by itself, and when he opens the door back up, the ghost avoids a confrontation again. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله he relights the candle and goes inside the room to see what the ghost is trying to hide. These pictures adorn the walls, perhaps victims of the person whose ghost now haunts this apartment building. Or maybe just family members. He is pondering something out loud that I bet would give us more information about this room, so please translate if you can. <laughs> a shadow figure in the corner makes him drop his only source of light, and now he is left in the darkness in the same room as the terrifying phantom figure. He runs out of the room fast and grabs a flashlight, no longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at the moment, but it won't let him leave so he picks up the candles once more. <laughs> This is what finally freaks him out. I think a ghost touches his shoulder, but help me translate to better understand. Assalamu alaikum. 
this home in Bathel, Washington has been overtaken by an evil force that refuses to go away. Paranormal experts from all over the world have been baffled by their findings, like this team for example. First, motion sensors repeatedly detect movement in areas where nothing is visible to the eye. What's especially weird is how the tripwires stop beeping whenever the investigators are near. Grunts, growls, and strange laughter echo throughout the house as well. Here's an example of the same laugh caught on multiple cameras. You maybe correct it a little bit better. <laughs> All of the noises sound like they are the right distance away in each shot, so this is probably real. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Odd Entertainment 279, the Redditor titled this post Croaky Ghost Sound, and they went on to include some more backstory in the comments, writing I was at this weird abandoned BBC receiving station that closed in the 70s. Watch this back just now. This sound was in the video. Took this just two days ago. Well, let's have a listen. Did you hear it? If so, what do you think it is? More than one person in the comments thinks it's a frog, but I can't say I have enough frog knowledge to agree or disagree. Do you think this is the case? Or are you siding with the OP? Who thinks he's captured a ghost sound on camera outside this abandoned building? Phil the Thrill is exploring the forest with a friend when they encounter something strange in the water that looks really out of place. You see that? What? What is that? Discarded at the end of a small stone trail is a black box tightly bound by rope with a single padlock hanging over one end. Across from the padlock is a note written for whoever finds it. Should just beat the heck out of it, maybe it'll open. Yeah, dude, what is this? Let me see. It's like a note or something. Oh, what the heck? With sadness, I'm writing this letter because I can no longer take care of her. I thought this could be the best way to give her a new life. They take the mystery box all the way back to their house where they have the tools needed to pick the lock. Whatever is inside has been silent the entire time and they fear the worst as they pop the lid. Pull it off. Let's see what's in here. What the? Is a baby in here? Inside is not a dog like they were thinking. Apparently whoever left the note was the parent. After that, I immediately called the police. I have trouble believing she's actually left her out in the forest. The youngster is clean and not underweight. Her clothes aren't dirty and her pacifier is still in her mouth despite getting rattled around on the way back. Phil the Thrill goes on to claim he called the police immediately. According to him, they came out and told him not to film anymore. The police and they were able to get the baby reunited with her parents. The police told me not to record the phone call. That's why I'm not going to post any of the footage on YouTube. It doesn't make sense for him to post all of this other stuff, but not the one thing that would have convinced me. I think a more likely reason for the lack of a phone call is because faking a police report can get you in serious trouble. Then again, it wouldn't be that hard to pretend to talk to the police on his phone if he really wanted to fake it. Now, I'm not so sure if it's real or fake, and I guess that's why this creepy video's gotten well over 6 million views. April and Kevin of a YouTube channel called AK Explorations team up with some of their ghost hunting friends to take on the Florida Grand Opera House, a historic location established in 1884 that is rumored to have acquired quite a few spirits. Over the past 135 years, April stands behind the scenes and gazes upon a row after row of empty seats. She's busy taking in the sights when she captures this paranormal moment on camera. At 4 minutes and 48 seconds, a shadow figure walks between the red curtains on the other side of the opera. I was thinking that this could have just been the shadow of one of the other people she was with, except for three things. First, there's also a passing shadow on her side of the room at 4 minutes and 46 seconds. 
It happens next to her, and exactly two seconds before it happens again on the other side of the room. Second, there's a really weird noise before the shadow person appears. She kind of makes a sigh, but there's also like a shrieking noise or something at the same time. Third of all, these orbs appear when she tries to tell Kevin about the experience. Who's back there? I waited. I saw someone walk back there. Next, they go to the balcony seats, and a strange feeling overtakes April at 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Weird up here, guys. Let's sit here for a minute. Actually, here for a minute. This strange white anomaly appears two seconds after she says she doesn't feel normal up here. It does look like a floating hair, but it also kind of looks like a phantom outline walking down the steps. The feeling grows so strong that she needs to step away and regather her thoughts. She turns around and is sure she's being watched again, and I'm almost sure I see the curtains move right where she believes it to be. Guys, it feels really weird. Chelsea's doing her um, awfulness down there. When AK Explorations aren't exploring fancy operas, they are usually busy investigating much less sophisticated haunts, like this chicken farm in the middle of nowhere. Eyes are on them from afar before they've even stepped foot inside, hopefully those of a wild animal rather than a restless spirit, though probably the latter based on what they soon encounter. Middle of the night by ourselves. April immediately feels watched as they enter the abandoned home. She turns around and her light barely manages to catch more eyes, along with whatever this is. Sorry, I heard something behind me. It's a different color than the surrounding green plants, and it looks much closer than anything else, possibly even on the porch with her. She doesn't notice and moves on. Inside, all of the windows are blacked out so that no light gets through. Though I don't know why anyone would choose to do this, and I was hoping you might have a reason for it. In the corner of the living room is a knotted rope surrounded by flies. I don't know what happened here, but I'm glad they didn't check to see what's inside the black garbage bag right next to the rope. Next, April and Kevin sweep over the house with a black light to see if there are any signs of a struggle. Sure enough, at 10 minutes and 33 seconds, they find a red stain on the bed that is not visible without their equipment. A second similar red stain is found on the mattress at 10 minutes and 42 seconds, so something happened here. A noise interrupts April right as she suspects someone could still be in here. Do you hear that? I'll admit that I didn't hear anything at first, but soon a strange hum fills the air. This house has no power, so nothing should be humming at all. You really hear it at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Babe, come here. Oh, come here, let's go ahead. The noise guides them to one room in particular. Something in their mind tells them not to go any further. A sixth sense warning that danger is near. April reasons that the floor might not be able to support their weight, but I'm pretty sure they felt the presence of whatever this is. Is this just, you think it's safe to walk on? It's a noise they do not hear until they watch the video much later. Looking back, all they knew was that it was time to leave. A YouTuber named Spunk Flunk recorded this video with the innocent intention of asking people to follow him on Google+. Little did he realize the paranormal moment that he accidentally caught while filming the video. If you look at the doll on the bed at the 29 second mark, you will clearly see that the doll moves its hand to the side and then back down. Um, click add to circles and then just click following. That'd be awesome. It'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1,000 followers. The fact that it moves its hand back down makes me think this video was not done by a string. In addition, most of his recent videos have nothing to do with the paranormal. 
What do you think caused this bizarre moment? Working from home has its perks, but this might deter some. Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by External Tangents, this redditor was home on a gloomy day when he heard some strange noises. At his door, the noise sounds like distant clicking. He opens his hallway door to investigate. Out in the hallway, you can hear whining and slamming. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Then as he looks up to find an outside door open, it clanks loudly. He's found the culprit. At the top of the stairs, the exit door to the roof is open. Heading out onto the roof, he finds no one there. Although the mystery is solved, some think it's odd that the exit alarm isn't blaring. They also find the sounds and visuals quite spooky. If you heard this while you were alone in your apartment, would you have the nerve to investigate? I'd be looking for a new place to live. On February 3rd, 2020, a bizarre video was posted on Twitter showing some strange activity caused by mysterious things in the sky, weird lines like some kind of wavelengths projecting outwards. A Twitter user posted the mysterious video because he says it needs explaining. He says this is electromagnetic interference of some kind, but has no idea what it could be from. If this is a result of EMF radiation, then the source is giving off a giant amount and must be large itself in return. Tell me if you think you know what's happening here, because it's been over a year and the mysterious event he caught on video still cannot be explained. This video is the launching point of one wild ride. Posted to the Ring subreddit, Midship92 explains that his neighbor messaged, asking him to check on his wife who is home alone because someone was trying to get inside. After going to check and finding no one, this friendly neighbor went back home, only to find this ring video footage had been sent to him. The clip shows what the man just missed, a shirtless creep crawling up the front steps of the home, hiding his face away before trying the door in an attempt to break in. The man then lets himself down the steps and walks off. The Redditor adds in the comments, After doing this to several houses and evading police, he was finally caught. Finding the man was quite an ordeal. The Redditor elaborates further, explaining that during the police search, the suspect kept disappearing only to be seen again minutes later. After trying to catch the guy for nearly an hour, only for him to vanish into thin air, the police abandoned the search. Left to his own devices, the man again tried to get in through another neighbor's back door. But the Redditor saw him from his deck. He chased the man into another neighbor's crawl space and stood guard there until the police returned. Thankfully, the wild goose chase led to the wild goose being caught. Have you ever watched a clip that terrified you so much that you just had to share it with a friend? That's definitely the case for this video, posted to YouTube by Mysterious Things in February of 2020. The footage purports to show an unknown flying object flying in broad daylight above Quebec City. From far away, the figure in the sky appears to be dressed in white and launching upward. Upon closer unfocused and wavering inspection, the unknown flying object does indeed look like a human figure dressed in white. At times its clothing shines luminescent, while the figure spins launching into the sky. When the camera gets in closer and more focused, the figure looks even more dramatic. It appears to be on fire. If that's not in fact Iron Man, as YouTuber Graham Sherwood suggests in the comments, perhaps it could be a meteor headed towards Earth. While other commenters say this is impressive and looks legit, YouTuber Damien Torres is more skeptical, suggesting it looks like silver helium balloons with the sun reflecting off of it. 
What do you think? Is this just a mistaken balloon? Or do you think this unknown flying object is worthy of some supernatural speculation? Whatever it is, it's terrifying. Shared in the subreddit Paranormal Videos, this now deleted user picked up a disembodied voice on her dog cam, speaking a foreign language. Have a listen. Did you hear that? The Redditor notes that the camera was placed on the mantle, and there's nothing behind the camera but the chimney. Some in the comments note that both of the dogs are looking at something in the room, and one of them looks terrified. The voice sounds almost like it's hissing in the end. I'm not sure what's going on here, if this is paranormal or there's someone in the home, but I do think I'd be setting up more cameras after hearing this. The G-Team paranormal investigators are at it again, returning to the highly paranormal medical center. The paranormal activity that occurs in this video is sure to scare you silly. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the team writes, We chose this place due to the amount of paranormal activity we always get here, and lo and behold, they were waiting for us. Hold on to your hats, because this one's a wild ride. Patty leads the pack, and the paranormal activity that occurs in the center is off to the races from the get-go. As the crew is doing their intro, something in the next room falls to the floor. Yes. Oh. oh my god. What was that? When they go to investigate, they claim that as soon as they walked into the room, it grew extremely cold. Jody screams, saying he felt like something touched him. He said something got his neck, and Patty points out that a cord hanging from the ceiling in the middle of the room is moving. Throughout the entire video, there are odd noises here and there. Sometimes they're subtle, other times they're distinct. Crazy. Around 10 minutes 25 seconds, Jody is trying to communicate with the presence in the medical center, asking it to tap three times. When that, that was. When that came out, Did you hear that? Although it does not comply, a shadow falls across the room, and another loud bang is heard in the next room. <gasps> oh, God. All this frightening activity begs the question, what kind of medical procedures went on here? It's not often that the police show up during a ghost hunt. YouTube team Exploring with Fighters was exploring this abandoned school when they ran into some trouble. As they wander the halls, they see stuff has been scattered everywhere. Then they hear they're not alone. Should they leave? As they try to decide what to do, it's clear they're tripping over themselves. They're trying to exit through the window. After succeeding, they call the cops. The police show up and are ready to search the place. Oh, they've got him. They've got him. 
Were the people inside just squatters, or were they up to something more nefarious? Oh, it was the thumbnail, boys. They head home for the night, and 24 hours later re-enter the school. You'd think they'd be alone this time, but then this happens. Did they really see someone in this haunted school? If so, where did they go? I think they witnessed a spirit squatter rather than human squatters this time. A bizarre, unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly Cecu is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Melly describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. The camera won't focus. Oh my. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to. And maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If none of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to concede that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. Two unexplained videos have captured a strange sighting of a humanoid figure floating over Phoenix, Arizona. Anyone know what that is? Writes one of them in a Snapchat video posted on March of 2020. So far, no one has any idea. The uploader goes on to explain that they were in their backyard when a mysterious figure silently floated over them, an all-black outline with what they describe as wings in the middle. While I do see what he's talking about, I doubt they are wings because they are not moving. It looks more like a jetpack or something, and yet I don't see any exhaust, so it's probably not that either. An experimental drone or a weather balloon would be my next guess, and if it's not that, then maybe it's it's a kite shaped like a person. With that said, it's been over a year and the strange sky sighting videos over Phoenix are still without explanation. The mystery is unsolved. Bike Jin goes exploring haunted places in an undisclosed Arabic speaking country and comes across a house I think I might have seen before in other videos. A house that should stay hidden but always gets explored. I think a lot of paranormal exploration channels come here because so much scary stuff happens almost every time. Weird things caught on camera like this. <laughs> He waits until the flames die down and takes a few hesitant steps into the haunted bedroom. I don't understand why he turns his light off during the scariest moment because that's when you would need your flashlight the most. 
It doesn't seem like a normal reaction, and the only reason I can think of is to let somebody set a controlled flame as part of a prepared stunt, which means this video, however creepy it may be, also has a strong chance of not being paranormal. I'll keep an eye out for other paranormal videos from this location, and if you know the name and country of this abandoned house, please let me know. Any information would be a great help. With a Ouija board in hand, a YouTuber named Contagious Noise takes her girlfriend and her sister to an old barn that's just beyond city limits. They are positive that this barn is very haunted and therefore the perfect place to contact the other side. The group laughs and carries on playfully at first, but it isn't long before the situation grows alarmingly serious. Tell me if it really looks like the pointer is moving all by itself here. I'm my grandma. I'm not doing it. Garrett? I swear on everything. I'm not. Look at my fingers. Are. Soon they contact the spirit of a four-year-old who could possibly be named Ryan. They are trying to ask him more questions when out of nowhere it spells out the name Grace, which is the name of one of the girls. The spirit doesn't seem to want to give any real answers. Sometimes the Ouija board simply spells letters at random. Just when they get the feeling that a spirit is messing with them, a random noise confirms their suspicions. Or ask who the four-year-old was. Why they're here? Yeah. Each one of them promises that they are not playing a joke and they decide to try again. This time the Ouija board spells out a single word. Help. Say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Ghost hunting YouTube channel in Russia called Dark Ghost Paranormal says they've caught real video evidence of poltergeist activity on camera while exploring an abandoned house that's haunted. After leaving cameras upstairs to record video evidence, Dark Ghost Paranormal goes exploring in the basement to investigate. For any poltergeist activity, the entrance to the basement has been boarded up like somebody really didn't want anyone to get in, or maybe they were trying to prevent something from getting out, something paranormal. He gets a creepy feeling down here, the basement looks completely demolished, stuff thrown everywhere, and so he goes back upstairs. Exploring the haunted basement must have set something free, because it isn't long before the poltergeist is coming to investigate these ghost hunters. Something scary happens behind him. The voice of a little ghost girl comes from a dresser, one that just so happens to be a child's height and is no doubt possessed by the ghost of one. The ghost hunter examines the area for a little bit, and just when he's about to wrap up the paranormal investigation, the scary poltergeist activity picks up again. This angle gives us a better look at how close the dresser is to the wall, way too close for someone to have been hiding behind it. The heavy object is moving by itself, or from a ghost to be more precise, and so he leaves the abandoned house to further rot. This video, posted by a man in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh, claims to be targeted by locals after converting to beliefs that's unpopular in the area. Men with their faces covered visit their house with a red canister filled with what I presume is gasoline and threaten to burn the place down. They seem genuinely ready to rip the door down and tear this family apart, especially when they pull out a huge blade and throw it at the door in a display of disgust. Here's the twist. According to a local news source in the area, the video is staged and was made by a family seeking asylum in America. Their anger is quite convincing, and the family really does look scared, so I want your opinion on if you think this is a performance or really a family in distress. This spinning Elmo toy seems to be deviating from the usual Sesame Street script. Imagine being a small child and hearing this supernatural sounding voice suddenly scream at you.
If anyone knows what this Elmo toy is supposed to be saying, then please let me know in the comments. Maybe we can compare what the original toy says to this video and determine if this is a possession or a technical malfunction. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by a sleep ad 8673, this redditor wrote, Randonautica at its finest. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah. It's in the middle of the f woods. So the keys have to be in the Yeah. Right? Yeah. The lights came on. It appears this Redditor stumbled upon a creepy abandoned car in the middle of nowhere with the help of Randonautica. In the comments, Chi Jojo said, This is like the third Randonautica video I've seen of cars being abandoned in the middle of the woods. One had a child's voice coming out of nowhere saying, Do you want to play? Strange indeed. To which the Redditor who found this car replied, I'm so glad there's no audible EVPs asking me if I want to play, especially a child child's voice. For some reason, that's even creepier. Somebody on Reddit helped me get the VIN number and ran it. Came back with an alert for a reported stolen vehicle. So it appears this abandoned car was stolen. Now the question on my mind is, who took the car and left it here? Jonathan Savo published this video in January 2015. After visiting his girlfriend in a Paris hospital, he wrote that a woman in the next bed was roaring and screeching with the voice of a devil, and that's what the video captures. <sighs> The woman is seen lying flat in a bed, speaking in a raspy, evil voice. She is harassing the couple, calling them tacky and ugly, and telling them they're all going to die. Although you can only see her profile in the video, and you can't see her mouth moving, what you can see is her chest rising and falling as she delivers her angry tirade of insults and threats. She then says she's going to call her mafia friend, after which she claims she's going to remove her IV drip so they can get out of the hospital. That's where the clip ends, leaving us wondering if the woman did in fact try to escape, but John doesn't leave us hanging. In his own words, he wrote, I was no longer filming when she or it started to get up and wanted to take the life of a person sitting next to her. Five nurses came in to stop her, and we were asked to leave the room quickly. What happened next, John doesn't know. Prior to this experience, John says he was skeptical about demonic possessions and everything related to them, but after seeing one in the flesh, He's a believer. Aokihara, also known as the Sea of Trees, is an infamous Japanese forest. Well, there are certain areas that are so dense that a feeling of solitude exists there like nowhere else. Sound is also absorbed, allowing for a kind of quiet you've never heard. Yuri, ghosts of the past away from Japanese myths and legends reside in this forest. Needless to say, the place is grim and it becomes even more grim when you bring a Ouija board and attempt to talk to the spirits. Brennan Taylor published this video in July of 2017, writing, We explored the forest to the depths of where normal hikers are not allowed to go. The things we saw changed us and we will never be the same. We decided it would be a good idea to play the Kakuri san which is basically the Japanese equivalent to the Ouija board. First, the man filming asks the board if they're going to run into a body that night, and the board answers, four. Being that there were four members in the group, this response must have sent a chill up each of their spines. When asking the spirit if they should be in the forest, the spirit answers no. At one point, one of the crew notes that moths are a sign of the afterlife, and they are all over the place, even landing on the board. They also noticed scratch marks on a nearby tree, which seemed to indicate that somebody clawed at it, in the shape of an X. 
They next ask the spirit if they'll find someone that very night. The answer, yes. When they finally decide to leave the forest, they've lost the coin that is used as a planchette. According to the Kakuri son, one of them must spend the coin within 24 hours of playing, or otherwise there's bad consequences. They backtrack to look for the coin, but the coin is never found. What will happen? Will they have 70 years of bad luck? It's hard to know for sure. All we do know is that they survived to tell the tale and post it on YouTube. Most people have home surveillance cameras installed for a security measure, just in case somebody attempts to break into their house late at night or an unwanted visitor shows up. But Helen Brookshaw's home surveillance camera captured something much more terrifying than a burglar. It captured an unwanted visitor, but not the kind you'd think or hope for. Focus your attention on the upper left side here. So let's count. One, two, three ghostly figures here. Not just one, not just two, but three in total. And they just seem to be moving in unison, sort of just back and forth in this circle here. And to add to this, it also looks like this happens at a graveyard because these appear to be tombstones. The people who own this surveillance system must live beside a graveyard. And that makes sense because the title of this video is Ghost on My CCTV in Graveyard Next Door. So the fact that not not only did they capture three paranormal presences on camera, but the fact that this also happens at a graveyard, I think just adds to how bizarre and creepy of a situation this is. I can't even begin to imagine how creepy it would be to have your home so close to a nearby cemetery or graveyard, but that seems to be the case for Helen. What gives this video even more credibility is exactly that. The footage is filmed in a graveyard, which is obviously going to be populated with ghosts and paranormal entities. And in this particular video, it seems like there are at least three or maybe four of them moving around in a strange, almost glitchy manner. Who knows? Maybe these are the spirits of passed away people going to pay their other family members a visit. A ghost hunting team led by paranormal investigator Lavina goes exploring a haunted chapel in Dixon, Oklahoma, or they try to at least. Getting into the haunted place is not as easy as it would seem. What the? She went to open that door and it, and it come back on her. At 42 seconds, one of the investigators opens the door a crack and it slams back with an unreasonable amount of force. Something from the other side, something paranormal perhaps, does not want them to go any further. They take the hint and don't stay for much longer, but apparently something has no problem opening up their door and coming with them for the ride home, as evidenced by this paranormal activity caught on their ghost meter equipment. Is there a speaker following us? Oh my! Their paranormal equipment flips out when she gets stern with the supernatural. You need to leave now. Just said no. Lavina must have asked too many questions because soon she goes into a trance-like state and begins to nod even though she was very active and alert moments ago. She stares at them with an expression they do not like or recognize. As they wrestle the ghost meter out of her hands, her eyes are not how they've ever seen before. Lavina. 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 Give me we that. We gotta go. Look, we need to go. Give me that. Give me here. that thing. Even she does not recognize herself. Tell me if you think they're acting or not. You see it? Oh my god, my eyes are like glowing. Yeah. Like, like a bloodshot. I am more skeptical, except faking this part doesn't explain the door slamming shut by itself or the ghost meter responding to their specific questions in real time. With that in mind, I think this paranormal investigation might be real. The evidence was probably not worth it in the long run, considered they may have inadvertently forged a spiritual attachment to something beyond the grave. It's just another ordinary night until a number of strange events happen just outside of someone's front door.
A bizarre whooshing noise is followed by blinking lights and the sound of something clicking off camera. I thought it was a turn signal, but the description of this video says that this was actually the sound of lights clicking on and off. Nothing happens for a while, and then the unidentifiable sound briefly returns. Some people have pointed out that this could have been a heavily compressed video of cars passing by. I agree that this is a possibility, but that still doesn't explain the lights turning on and off or the clicking noise. I'd like to hear your best guess as to what this residential disturbance could be. Paranormal? Unknown flying device? Or just some late night street traffic? What should have been a fun day at the zoo quickly becomes a nightmarish scenario when a child named Timmy finds himself wedged in the folds of an elephant statue by the leg. Timmy's leg is stuck in the elephant under elephant. First, the YouTubers try to handle this situation themselves without any help. Move this leg. It just gets stuck even more. There. Soon, zoo officials notice the commotion and try their best to assist. When that fails, Timmy knows the situation is getting serious. A team of rescue workers arrive almost 20 minutes into the whole ordeal. By now, Timmy is distressed and I feel pretty bad for him. I also don't see any signs warning to stay off of this elephant statue. So if anything happens to him, the zoo could be in a lot of trouble. Eventually, they are able to pry the trunk up long enough to remove the scared child and spare the statue. Timmy now has to go to the hospital to get checked on, but as far as I know, everything is okay with his leg in the long run. I'm curious to find out if you think the zoo should be held responsible for the hospital bills based on what you've seen. Werewolves lurk in this forest. Enter if you dare. YouTube Team Fatos a Mysterios faced off with a wild half-man, half-dog in this scary video. First, they hear it. Também escutei tipo um bater de orelha mesmo, vi? Sei lá o que foi isso. Olha aí de novo ela. And soon they spot it right before it gives chase. Its growl soon sends him running. And despite fleeing the werewolf, it's still stalking them in the darkness. Will they escape? They better hope so, or I think they'll soon be part of the wolf pack too. A redditor named Stalker the Zone seems like he is in a real hurry as he records a wheelchair at the hospital. He is definitely waiting for something to happen, but I get the feeling he doesn't want to get caught by anyone using his phone, so maybe this is his place of work. Come on. Just when he is about to give up, the wheelchair comes to life and moves on its own. His vindication gives way to horror when he realizes the wheelchair is turning his way. See? See, I fucking don't. No, 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 I guess someone off screen could be pulling the wheelchair towards them, but my understanding is that wheelchairs are fairly heavy, and any wire that could pull it would also be thick enough to see on video. Are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home? This YouTuber can relate. Published to YouTube by Youngboy Lloyd in March of 2020, Lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home. He shows video proof across a series of three clips. The first part shows him watching something on TV when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In 
the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence. And as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. <laughs> In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. Eve, I think my wine with Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. This short clip was taken at an unidentified prison that is most likely abandoned. This is an actual creature coming out of the darkness. Or are the shadows just playing tricks on you? I will say that there are signs of editing. The dust is swirling a lot faster than normal, which makes me believe that this footage was sped up. It could have been a normal person dressed in all black, quietly walking up and then backing away, which would look very paranormal when sped up like that. Maybe the video was sped up for some other reason and is in fact real. YouTuber Jossie Sandhu Official captured what he believes is a real witch on camera. First, he hears her crying. Then he sees her. What? What? Then she lets out this wail that would drive anyone away. What you got? What? 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 Is this truly a witch? I think so. I've never heard something so otherworldly in my life. John Cater carefully combs through his home looking for the source of what he can only describe as a creepy noise. One second the room will be completely silent. Look at and the next minute, it sounds like some kind of grinding noise that could drive somebody insane over time. Oh my god. It isn't insects either, because listen to how quickly it goes away. Oh my god. John eventually traces the noise back to a dark room that he has never really paid any particular attention to before, and apparently something in there wants to keep it that way. It looks like an invisible force slams the door shut from the other side, and we never do get to see what was down there with him, if anything. A gigantic streak of lightning in Paducah, Kentucky was so large that it was caught by two different police dash cams. The first police car was far away, and its dash cam footage shows just how long this massive lightning bolt was, and the second police car was much, much closer. The lightning bolt directly hit a nearby residence. Fortunately, everyone inside was alright, but this particular officer will never forget how close he came to being charred alive. Paranormal Explorers Moxley of Moxley's Crazy Adventures and Dan of Nighthawk Exploring team up to explore an abandoned house so haunted that only two well-versed paranormal investigators such as themselves could ever hope to stand a chance against it. Known only as the Invisible House, the haunted place in the UK is host to ghastly figures and ghostly apparitions that will make your skin crawl as they reach out and brush by. While exploring the second floor, they pass by a small statue kneeling in prayer. The way of faces into the room makes me think it was left there to protect against something inside, a paranormal presence that doesn't want them in there exploring the abandoned house at all. Somewhere nearby, a door closes all by itself, and when you slow down the video at 6 minutes and 4 seconds, there is a half-concealed outline of a pale ghost face in the window. Not knowing that they've already caught a ghost sighting on tape, they break out the K2 meter to get supernatural consent for their paranormal investigation to continue. Are you okay with myself and Moxley being here? Can you take it to the yellow or orange? 
Would you be okay if myself and Moxley used the spirit box in here? No. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. A chill passes over them, and just like the legends say, the ghost hunters hear and feel a presence brushed by them both. They turn around to find this heavy cabinet door, which was open when they first came in, is now closed. They open and close the cabinet to see how heavy it is, and conclude that it is too heavy to close on its own from a gentle breeze. And get this. Every time they touch the cabinet door, a ghost orb angrily flies overhead. It happens three times and it's quite creepy. A bolt lock can't keep the paranormal out. Published by Dark Ghost Paranormal in April of 2021, this is a true house of horrors. As Russian paranormal investigator Dennis looks around the unsettling home, something appears to let itself in. Dennis backs off and shuts the door behind him, but that doesn't stop the unwelcome guest. After verifying that there's no one there, Dennis returns to his investigation. Close by, he hears a loud knock. Later, the wardrobe drawers open on their own. And what looks like newspaper is shoved up from one of them. Then the wardrobe doors open one at a time. The second one repeatedly swings open and shut. Dennis walks toward it and there's nothing inside, yet it continues to open and close. This occurs for several minutes. Later, he hears a noise. A bunch of racket draws him to this cupboard. It sounds like all the dishes inside are jumping around. Opening the cupboard doors, he finds nothing out of place. He then hears another noise and finds a bag moving as it hangs on the wall, like there's an animal trapped inside of it. He takes the bag from its hook and opens it, but again, there's nothing inside. When he puts it back down on the bed, it continues to move. What is inhabiting this haunted home? Whatever it is, it let itself in. Filipino YouTuber T-A-B-I-A-P-O has captured a real Sigbin on camera in Barangay Sanko. After finding evidence of the creature, they come to the edge of this tall grass. And guys, pinawag na natin yung mga ilimento. Tignan natin kung lalabas ngayong hapon. That's when they see this. Ito na yung sinasabi ko si Pin, guys. Nakita nyo? Ayan, no? The creature has black fur. You can't even discern shades of color. He looks like a shadow himself. Then it starts coming toward them. Para pupunta siya dito. Alis to, alis to ah. O yan, diyan ka lang. O mga katats, tingnan niyo ah. Aagisan ko ng dapag na may orasyon. Apparently, these leaves are protection. What do you think of the Sigbin?
To me, it looks a bit like a monkey with large bat-like ears. Its complete darkness also instills paranormal fear of the unknown. All I know is, I don't want that thing feeding on my shadow. Fari hunters kneel over the remains of a wild lion, each too busy posing to notice another member of the pride has been following them this whole time. As they fiddle with the camera equipment, the silent surviving lion sizes them up without a sound. It waits until they are too close to run and then pounces. Their tour guide lays on his horn to warn them, but it's far too late. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure if this video is real because the lion doesn't make a sound even after it's been spotted. If this is a real video, then it's more like their final moments rather than a close call. Before a YouTuber named G, the one and only, starts off this video immediately looking creeped out and a little bit panicked about something, but we are not yet let in on whatever his current situation is. Presumably a friend of his starts to film him as he proceeds to walk into a room which is absolutely filled with bionicle toys, which is surely any young kid's dream, but maybe this set of bionicle toys are not meant to be played with. There's nothing up here. They are claiming that a bionicle's head moves on its own. Let's slow this footage down and see if we can see it. See, it's the tallest bionicle figure. Oh, I, I see it now. I think it's this one right up here. Although it only happens for just a brief second, if you slow down the footage and zoom in, you can see that the tallest bionicle figure standing up actually appears to move its head slightly all by itself. Of course, it is entirely possible that this particular figure is battery powered and has a built-in feature which allows for its head to move around, but that seems like reaching for answers. Plus the uploader who owns the toy is creeped out by this, so it can't be battery powered. He says that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but is having a hard time dismissing this clip. Let this video be a warning that not even your own childhood toys are safe from being taken over by the spirit of ghosts. Have you ever received a call from the beyond? TikToker Epic Paranormal posted this video, explaining that their mom received a phone call from her uncle. The only problem is, he's passed away. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that entire clip gave me chills. Many in the comments have similar stories, having received calls from their departed loved ones. Others have a feeling of dread after watching this clip. I can't blame them. <laughs> If I got a voicemail like this, I would be terrified. Vision seen by many is sometimes diagnosed as mass hysteria, but when it's caught on video, you cannot deny its existence. This video was published in February of 2012. The clip shows a group of people staring at the sun over the trees. At first, the camera appears to be just capturing the blazing sunlight, but as it focuses in, you can clearly see the shape of a woman within that blinding light. The clip, which has gone viral, was filmed in the Ivory Coast. The day prior to this apparition, locals had seen something which appeared to be a blue halo in the sky, a case that many thought was extraterrestrial. But when the apparition appeared using infrared technology, locals instead believed they were witnessing a miracle. Government officials tried to minimize the sighting, saying it was nothing, but some locals believe the apparition may simply be Mary casting her mercy. 
and benevolence over the impoverished region. Whether you call this vision a miracle or not, coupled with the halo that is said to have appeared during the preceding days, these startling forms in the clouds are unexplainable. A YouTube channel called Free For All plans to explore a series of tunnels underneath Minneapolis that are rumored to eventually lead to a place called Satan's Cave, which no one has ever seen before. The group of friends grow progressively dirtier as they squeeze through narrow opening after narrow opening, sometimes climbing through sections of the tunnel that have almost completely collapsed just to see what's next. Soon the brick walls give way to smooth gray stone that more closely resembles the likes of a cave. When they see these highly detailed faces carved into the wall, they know they are on the right track. It's definitely a creepy sight for sure, but walls are still covered with tons of graffiti, which means that a million people have been here before. They aren't crossing new territory, at least not yet. After a while, they happen upon a side tunnel that seems to be unmarked and unexplored. They have to hunch over and eventually crawl on their hands and knees in order to continue. It's a long time before they stumble upon what has to be the narrow mouth of Satan's cave. The cave eventually opens into a cramped chamber of sorts. The situation becomes all too real when they realize the hole in the wall is too narrow to crawl through. There is a hole to their left that leads straight down into pitch black darkness. Everyone gets an uneasy feeling about this huge floor opening, and they wisely decide to turn back around. Judging from the cave's nickname, I definitely wouldn't want to see what's down that final hole either. When you can command a door to open and close, you may just have The Gift, published by the Scottish Ghost Company. In February of 2022, this investigation of an industrial complex turned super creepy. When the investigator's commands were granted, the pair is alone in the warehouse aside from the ghosts. You can hear them communicating via the spirit box in the adjacent hangar throughout the video. The pair approaches a door and asks the spirit to open it if he or she is still with them. Can you open the door please if you're still with us? In answer, the door slowly swings open. A moment later, when asked to close the door, the spirit acquiesces, slamming the door shut. Really impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many in the comments call this activity mind blowing and wonder if it's real. Is this a portal to another world? Step on through if you dare. Can you open the door, please, if you're still with us? Oh my god. Oh my god. A YouTuber named Elios Cray claims to have somehow gotten a phone number from someone within Project Zargo. He then calls the number and immediately hears this bizarre message. Listen to this part and let me know if you heard anything being said or if it made you feel weird afterwards. According to internet rumors, one of Project Zargo's main methods of recruitment is through mind control. With that said, maybe this recording contains strange messages that are designed to make you loyal to the Zargo cause. Also, one more thing. Elios Cray's phone begins blinking red for some reason. Bro, that never happens. That's so weird. Am I being watched or something? Let me know if you think Project Zargo is messing with his phone, or if he is somehow doing this on his own. A YouTuber named Encounters26 is fishing late at night in Bishopville, Maryland, when he comes across something unnatural in the forest. Do you see it where? Whoa. Holy A silent, hulking figure makes its way through the murky swampland, apparently trying to get away quickly without being noticed. Encounters26 believes this to be some sort of lizard man creature, which would explain why the creature does not make any noise as it tries to escape the flashlight's glare. I was almost positive that this was just a person in a suit until it turns back to the camera. You can see some sort of sharp white scales coming out of its back, almost like a dinosaur, and its arms look way too skinny to be a person's. Holy... <gasps> 
Connor Biddle and India Hopwood are a ghost hunting team who travels to different haunted locations in search of paranormal encounters, which coincidentally is the name of their channel on YouTube. Born in Indiana, Connor released a full-length paranormal documentary in 2012 and has never stopped investigating. His partner, India, moved to South Carolina from England and has been visiting haunted locations since she was 10 and began heading investigations as a teenager. They have nearly two decades of combined experience dealing with the afterlife between them and a lot of interesting evidence to share. This time they find themselves in Withville, Virginia to explore the infamous Octagon Mansion. I am in the Octagon Mansion alone. The only thing I can see is what's on this night vision camera. Built in 1870, the Octagon Mansion, or the Roundhouse as some call it, has a relatively unexplained haunted history. Many families lived here over its 100 plus year history, and it was also a few different businesses for a while, none of which lasted for some reason. The town itself once experienced a viral outbreak that took over 100 lives, and this may have tainted with Phil with many restless spirits. With that said, it should come as no surprise that a little host girl is said to be on the second second floor, especially considering the outbreak targeted kids. As Connor is exploring the first floor, his camera goes out of focus a second before he senses something nearby. There's nothing to make it go out of focus, and yet the background changes as if someone is standing right in front of him. Is there anybody here? And it stays blurry like this for 11 full seconds before snapping back into focus for no reason at all. And this noise happens a few seconds after coming into focus, almost like an invisible left the shot and went into a different room. The soft knocking is repeated again when he leaves a doll out for the girl to play with and pay attention to the exact location of the doll because that's going to matter in just a second. But for now, it sounds like the girl might be coming downstairs to give the toy a closer look. So the doll is positioned in front of the furthest right window here at 2 minutes and 27 seconds, but at 4 minutes and 45 seconds, it's now by the far left window with its arms raised to its mouth like it's afraid. Now Connor says he isn't sure if the doll moved, or if it was just the camera angle. I think it definitely moved, but the fact that he doesn't rush to take credit makes me respect his work that much more. On a different night, Connor and India think they record a spirit named Nina. Does this sound like a person or electronic interference? I respect that India is able to keep composure. My reaction was more like Connor's. She must have really seen a lot as a ghost hunter for this not to bother her. Anyway, this sounds like a scream of pure agony in my opinion. There's not any hatred in the voice, just pain. Perhaps a final scream from the girl upstairs. And if you didn't think the last sound was human, this one definitely is a woman's cry. India is able to translate quite easily. I believe it really does say hey here, like she says. Hey, it's not hey again. And the reason I believe it is because the ghost says hey again. As for physical sightings, this is the best piece of evidence Connor has to offer. It's all real. Every bit of it. This 2012 video, taken in Bourbon, Indiana, in the attic of an old pizza place that used to be an apartment building, highlights a strange anomaly hovering against the wall. It doesn't look like the beam of a flashlight because, aside from not being round, there's no ray of light connecting it to a source. And when the white outline moves off the wall, it does not change size or shape like a flashlight would, instead staying completely the same as it traverses the darkness. A YouTuber named Dan Logan shot this Disneyland footage almost 10 years ago, and it still remains a paranormal point of contention even today. Dan's filming the end of a typical Disney fireworks show when he sees something strange and zooms in.
A gray specter appears to be admiring the show from atop his perch on the Walt Disney Castle. It watches the final barrage of fireworks for a bit longer and then silently disappears from sight. Some people think that this was just a fireworks technician wearing dark clothing while others are convinced that this is a phantom and possibly even the ghost of Walt Disney himself. I'm not sure what it was, but I do agree that the timing is very eerie. I mean, the ghost or whatever it was does happen to show up right before the final high note and then disappear shortly afterwards, so that's definitely odd. Let me know what you think it was, and if you think the timing was just a coincidence. Most videos of unidentified flying object sightings are out of focus or simply blinking lights. This one is the opposite of that. The video shows a saucer shaped flying objects sitting in an open field near forest and mountains. You can see at least one figure outside the vehicle standing to its left. A close-up shown later in the footage reveals that the creature is the quintessential Martian, overly large cranium, long thin limbs and all. After the Martian returns inside, a launching sound is heard as the vehicle's engine revs up. In an instant, the saucer shoots straight upward. The suddenness of the launch causes the person holding the camera to drop the shot downward before racing away on foot. What would you do if you encountered this at the edge of the forest? I just know I wouldn't be sticking around to find out. I don't want to go to Mars just yet. Garbage has eyes. Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit, C. Holly Molly writes, First noticed the eyes about two years ago, the ones next to the hose reel. She says this is a black plastic bag with sand in it, with no tape or reflective stickers attached. The security footage shows the garbage bag and its eyes. At some points throughout the clip, it even looks as though the eyes are blinking. The Redditor says the eyes appeared nearly a week after the bag was placed there. Some Redditors in the comments say it's pareidolia, while others think it's a residual artifact from the camera. Are we seeing a face that is not there? Or is this a real-life Oscar the Grouch? Security footage shows a man letting his guard down while inside a scary-looking warehouse building. Big mistake. One of the chairs moves by itself and he stares at it, too terrified to react. That's when the chair scoots forward again, and then they all fall down, even his own. I can't explain what the mysterious dark figure in the background of this video could be. Hopefully it's not a shadow person silently watching from one floor above. While exploring this haunted place, this paranormal crew discovers that entities manifest in the mirrors. Published by Albert of the Arch, they search the home when they spy this. While the white object looks spooky at first, hanging there in the hallway when they approach, they find it's a piece of paper posted on a door. As they continue their search and discover a door to an attic above moving on its own. Okay. Bueno, pero eso puede ser el viento. Está en un en este en el exterior, entonces se cuela el aire con esto. Later, while they're all in one room, a shadow passes by a mirror in the adjacent room. No one is there. They don't know what to make of it. Not long after, while they're speaking over a statue of Jesus, a faint scream is heard in the background. Is that scream coming from the entity in the mirror? Sounds like it wants out. Cuando estas energías vienen a la luz, ya no pueden salir. Es se hace como un, una especie de lugar eh, que los bloquea, ¿sí ¿sabes? Mm -hmm. A redditor named Steezy Steve 7 posted this work camera video of the creepy basement at his coffee store job. It's a quarter to one in the morning when his boss receives a phone notification of movement down there. 
This is what tripped the motion detection equipment. That looks like it could be a ghost to me, but maybe it's also a piece of a spider web? This basement looks like it has plenty of them. Can someone let me know if spider webs can set off motion detection equipment? I think they probably could, in which case, mystery solved. A man has a rather big problem in a small room. His lights are turning on and off on their own, and he can't figure out why. Across from him is a light switch that he is standing nowhere near. Not that pressing the light switch makes much of a difference. The light keeps turning on and off in rhythmic intervals regardless, like something's trying to communicate to him its presence. After five minutes, it finally stops through no doing of its own, and it never happens again. He shows every wall except the one to his immediate left. So perhaps the second person is standing by a dimmer switch to fake this video. But what's weird is how, almost two years ago to the very day, he caught something on camera that was bizarre. A door that kept opening on its own. No one is visible on the other side of the door when it oddly opens, like the lights. The door only did this for a single day and never again. Was a ghost to blame. This Chicago police body cam shows multiple officers rushing to save a man and his dog from freezing in Lake Michigan. From a distance, it looks like the distressed person is trapped on a snowbank at first. But as the officer approaches, you can see the person is actually waist deep in freezing waters and ready to go under. The officers quickly extend a rescue cord for him to tie onto, and they yank him to safety with one strong pull. Thankfully, they are able to do the same with the dog as well. I'm guessing that he was walking his dog along the edge of the water for a nicer view when the snow gave way. The cold water must have left him practically frozen from the waist down and unable to climb out. Let me know if you agree whether or not that's what probably happened. This video, taken from a YouTuber named Finder Lurker, is from 2005. He is certain of a paranormal entity frequenting an area of the house that no one uses, so he sets up a camera and leaves. In the beginning of the video, you can see these two small eyes in the background, which is definitely weird, but it's nothing compared to what happens next. Arms appear from all sides, and then this head pokes out from around the corner. Its eyes white pinpricks of light and nothing more. One arm stays above them as if waving hello. It quickly disappears from wherever it came from, and then the camera begins to shake, eventually becoming dislodged and toppling over. It does feel a little too set up in my opinion, but whether all of this was an actual ghost or just some kids messing around is ultimately up to you to decide. Real Victoria is woken up by her cat hissing at something it sees in the bedroom window. The cat goes quiet when she starts recording, but it's definitely focused on some activity outside. She says this creepy looking character was looking in through her window, and he very well may have been, but at 4 seconds he also seems to be looking up and trying to get the attention of someone in the room above him. In fact, I think I hear him shout something and whistle loudly at the beginning of this video. What is he saying here? Eventually, he steps away and out of sight. I guess he either saw the camera, or he finally got the attention of someone in the unit above. Whatever he was up to, having a complete stranger anywhere near where you live at 5 in the morning is oddly terrifying. With that said, I do believe her, and I hope real Victoria stays safe until her lease is up and she can get out of there. Is this the floating soul of a departed one? Published by Frankly2112 in October of 2008, a ghost hunting crew encountered a strange floating orb while wandering through a cemetery at night. (sighs) 
The light glows brightly at the center of what appears to be a semi-transparent figure. Then again, the apparent figure could just be the extension of the light's rays. As the cameraman pans away and back again, the beam moves quickly out of frame and out of sight. YouTuber Price Paranormal writes, It almost seems elemental or interdimensional. Others note that the light seems to materialize there and that it appears like someone holding fire in their hand. What do you think this is? Are the spirits alive in this graveyard? I'd be staying far away from this place. Scary restaurant video was captured in a bar in Singapore late at night. First, a stool falls over, which I guess could just be a string, but their reaction seems realistic as they all question how this could happen. The entire time, none of them realize that they are being watched by the faint outline of a woman who does not move or make a noise. Maybe it's just me, but it almost looks like this woman's feet are off the ground and she is suspended in the air. Number. A Facebook user named Andrea Collins believes one of her security cameras caught a ghost late in the afternoon on March 22nd of this year. And after taking a look at the evidence for myself, I think she's right. Ordinarily, I would say that this is a bug crawling across the camera, except in this case it looks like a little ghost girl with a white dress and long black hair. It's also positioned perfectly in the middle of the screen, exactly where a human would stand so my bet is that this is an apparition seeking help, or at least some attention. And if this is what Andrea sees in her yard, then chances are her house is haunted too. This video follows a Filipino ghost hunter who's exploring an abandoned hospital solo. At around 4 minutes in, as he's climbing some stairs, he hears high-pitched shouting. The Redditor who submitted this suggests its scream is that of either a child or a woman. The ghost hunter proceeds to explore the entire floor. All the while, you can hear the screeching in the background. As he nears one end of the floor, traffic is heard roaring out the window. Once silence has fallen again, the screaming can be distantly heard, and then at 7.15, very clearly and nearer. The sound is terrifying, but we never find the source. What do you think it could be? My best guess is something paranormal. <laughs> A YouTuber named BR Henry 16 is deep in a Southern California mine when he sees a pale light off in the distance. The light doesn't have the intense brightness of modern electronics. Instead, it looks dim and swings at waist level, kind of like an old lantern would have. BR Henry 16 is sure that this is the spirit of a cave miner, and I would have to agree. Let me know if you think the same, or if you believe this portion of the video was staged. Paranormal activity was recently caught on video by this family in Pakistan, but I'm not sure if this is a poltergeist or just them throwing things around, so help me decide. Most of the objects come from the corner of the screen and could have been easily thrown by someone off camera. I'm not sure how they made the table come back after it was thrown against the wall, but it doesn't look that heavy so maybe it was on a wire. I guess we'll never know for sure. As the legend goes, the Saratoga light appears on Haunted Bragg Road, a dirt road in southeast Texas. Many witnesses have observed the ghost light, with some believing it has paranormal origins due to a legendary railway incident in which a railroad worker lost his head. He is now 
believed to search for it in the night, carrying his lantern. Published by The Vortex in October of 2018, this scary video sees the man search for the mysterious Saratoga light. During their eight-mile drive along the creepy ghost road, the paranormal investigators eventually start to see a beam of light. They stop along the dirt road and get out to capture the light, which they think might be a car. And it does turn out to be a vehicle as they discover when they drive ahead. But at the same time, they said they caught a mysterious light behind them which disappeared, a bright glowing red one. The eerie light doesn't seem to be far off. Many in the comments claim to have seen the light firsthand along this road. YouTuber 5th Gen Texan Texas Forever writes that he saw it years ago while walking along the road in the dark. He explains, It appeared suddenly right in front of us, zipped away and came back really quickly, then disappeared again right in our faces. While this glowing red doesn't appear to zip away, the many confirmed sightings of the Saratoga lights certainly make me consider believing. If you're thinking of messing with Bloody Mary, think again. The Shadow Hunters team learned this lesson the hard way. In this video, they investigate. After one of their devices is triggered in this haunted place, they mess with the spirits here. <laughs> They find the word Mary written on a mirror. That was the other one. Tentar filmar certinho aqui. Olha isso aqui, mano. Then they do what you're told never to do. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. and she appears. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ela. And they face the consequences. With his friend injured, one of the crew appears to go seek revenge against the demon. Oh, look, it's not going, it's not going, man. Oh, go. But as he tries to, this happens. Do you believe in Bloody Mary? The Shadow Hunters certainly do now. Even ghosts get hungry. Published to YouTube in September of 2017, the spirit has got quite the appetite. While a pair films the inside of the shop, explaining in Spanish what was going on, a package of crisps fall from the shelf. As the woman filming approaches it, suddenly it shoots across the floor toward her. She and the dude quickly flee, and who can blame them? Maybe pranking the living really makes you work up an appetite. A TikToker named Heck Aiden is dancing in her room, with the door closed when it somehow pushes open by itself, and no one steps in. Like I said, the door looks fully closed, and there's no visible gaps in the doorway to indicate that it was partially left open as part of a skit. The doorknob doesn't seem to turn either, so as far as I'm concerned, there should be no way for it to open like that. Heck Aiden tries to play it off and finishes her video, but the more she reflects on it, the more she seems convinced that this was a ghost after all. Most of the passengers have on headsets and are watching a mid-flight movie, but one of them sees a reoccurring image and takes out their phone. This brief clip is the final instance of what they saw. Floating up from one of the seats is a formless mist that briefly swirls into the shape of a twisted face and disappears. All airlines are smoke-free nowadays, but I suppose that could be another possibility. I'm not sure where this video was taken, but it looks like an open-air seafood market. A giant fish on the end is bigger than any of the others and has been attracting onlookers all day. If this person had simply purchased it or moved on like everyone else, then this video would never need to be analyzed by me. Instead, they tap it twice with the corner of their smartphone, like it's the tire of a used car. 
The second tap is close to the eye, which I think triggers a nervous system response. It was completely motionless before and its gills were not moving, so I don't think it was truly alive. Still, they should have kept their hands off the merchandise. I wonder if the store owners made them pay. Anyway, here it looks like the fish actually manages to get the phone into its without a doubt slimy mouth, so they should probably just give up and get a new phone along with a new dinner. Ryan Prunty is certain their estate is haunted. After this creepy experience in their attic happened, let's take a look at what he and his friend caught on tape and see if it's really paranormal. Still, I think it's all good up here, dude. We're gonna explore a little further. No, 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 no. Bro, it's a lot. It's funny, Bailey. I'm not Open kidding, the door, bro, Bailey. It's locked. Bailey, open the door. Look. It doesn't look like the door got stuck by itself. At 11 minutes and 34 seconds, the locking mechanism has been turned into a horizontal locked position. Someone, either a ghost or one of their roommates, must have been on the other side. They force open the door and less than a minute later, this mysterious orb guides them to another weird event. No one else is home and yet they see wet footprints outside of the shower that lead to nowhere. Maybe one of them showered and left, but I think most most people would pick up the towel first. It's a creepy video, but all of these ghostly encounters would be easy to fake with the help of a third person. So I'm wondering if that's exactly what they did. This home surveillance video shows a round transparent object dart across someone's front yard. It starts from a walkway and then goes down a hill towards the house, perhaps looking for a way inside. Meanwhile, whatever this is supposed to be glares at the camera without moving. And when I zoom in, I think those might be horns. This dog knows what's up. Published by Ghost Hunting Unique 0.4 in April of 2022, this dog is seen staring down the road. He then runs away without explanation. That's when this figure appears suddenly in the middle of the road. The figure later vanishes. But then this weirdo pops up, scaring a passerby. It's unclear what he wants, but he too vanishes after a moment. Later, another figure disappears as he's crossing the street. Is this just a road of no return? The Bermuda Triangle of Pavement? Or is something else going on here? A dad and a daughter are all smiles as they board an elevator. The ride is smooth and they look at themselves in the mirror for about 30 seconds, completely unaware of how unsafe they actually are. Minutes later, the empty elevator is ripping past floors with enough speed to shake the entire carriage. The door is slightly open and nothing is working properly as the lift slams into the roof hard enough to dislodge panels and light fixtures. Thankfully, no passengers were on board, but had the two from earlier still been inside, it would have been a daddy-daughter demise for certain. I can only wonder how many times something like this has almost happened to you or me without realizing. A YouTuber named Tommy Case is in the basement of an abandoned house when his flashlight crosses over someone wearing an all black and white stretched out face mask. Tommy Case runs away, but soon he has to turn his flashlight back on if he ever hopes to find the exit. Instead, he finds the same person again, but this time he manages to escape without looking back. Since the person just stands there and never reaches out for him, I think this is almost definitely a skit, but a well done one all the same. This faded family footage goes from heartwarming to horrifying. When you realize what this father has done to become a wanted man with a $100,000 reward on his head, According to the FBI, this man extinguished his entire family, wife included, and then created a gas leak in the home. He lit a candle and the house went up in an instant to cover his tracks. 
This was back in 2001 and no traces of him have been uncovered. He is still on the top 10 most wanted list just in case. You head outside for a nice peaceful evening stroll when you encounter this posted to TikTok by Daniela Duque. The uploader says in the clip, something happened that changed my life check. The clip shows at least a dozen people all dressed in white, wandering down the empty street carrying torches. It's not clear what's going on here. Many in the comments are saying this looks like the set from a movie. Others suggest the horror film Midsommar. Well, some think this group is cult-like, perhaps performing a ritual. Still others consider this is more likely The Purge. Are you ready for it? I'm not. If there was a soundtrack to your nightmares, it would probably sound like this. Posted to TikTok by Hannah Hallett, she writes simply, um, help? You'd be seeking help too if this Yankee Doodle was blaring outside your window in the darkness of night. Hannah captures what looks like an ice cream truck making a U-turn on her road in the darkness. Well, that's a little odd considering the time of day, but not overly scary. The fact that the truck's haunting children's music is blaring from its speakers, even as darkness envelopes the night, is absolutely terrifying. Who is this ice cream man trying to attract? Imagine this nightmare fuel filtering into your subconscious as you fall off to sleep. Pretty sure nightmares would be a guarantee. A YouTuber named Richard205Maria believes that some kind of advanced life form is following his every move, so he sets up surveillance equipment around his house. He finds this strange creature flying around his yard at around 6 in the morning shortly thereafter. The glowing all-white apparition looks relatively small and is so fast that the camera has a hard time capturing any details. We can vaguely see four humanoid limbs and perhaps a set of wings as well, though it's hard to tell for sure. It appears to fly headfirst with its arms stiffly sat at its sides, a strange characteristic for almost any creature of flight on this planet. I think there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI, but I can't eliminate the possibility of an insect, a reflection of light, or even otherworldly contact. I encourage you to watch the other videos on Richard's channel and tell me if you think he has an extraterrestrial following him or not. Don't Let Her In, published in November of 2021 by Taja Fact. This CCTV footage is chilling. Two women are at work in a computer lab when one of them leaves. After a moment, the sliding door slams shut, scaring the young woman who is left alone. Alarmed, she turns in her seat towards the door but later returns to her work. Shortly after, the lights start flickering on and off in the hallway, and a creepy figure is standing in the doorway. It looks like a young woman in white, with her dark hair hanging over her face. When the woman is finally alerted to the figure's presence, she slowly gets up to go look, although we're left to wonder what happens next. Maybe we shouldn't find out. A YouTuber named Captain Bob Hartzell finds himself in the sea caves of Devil's Island in Wisconsin when he feels uneasy and decides to start recording. Watch this part and tell me if you see something strange in the distance. A vaguely human outline can be seen standing directly in front of him. I guess this could just be a small cave opening, but this island is rumored to be haunted by numerous spirits and even a cave monster, so anything is possible. All I know for sure is that Bob feels like he is not alone, starts recording wildly, and manages to capture a silhouette roughly the same size and shape of a human. It was May 17, 1995. What San Diego was about to witness would be one for the record books. Sean Nelson thought he'd go for a joyride that day in an M60 tank. He broke into the National Guard Armory, rambled behind the wheel, and headed down Mesa College Drive into neighborhoods, crushing cars, busting open fire hydrants, and eventually leading police cruisers on a low-speed chase down Route 163. 
The crazy rampage lasted 23 minutes, all caught by TV news crews and police helicopters. The episode lasted until police subdued Nelson and he was lifted out of the tank. Although there are many questions to be asked about this event, the big question is why? Why did he do it? Nelson had enlisted in the army after high school and served in West Germany in a tank battalion. His service record includes disciplinary problems and led to his honorable discharge in 1980. When he got home, he had a nice enough life for half a decade, got married, bought a home, made a decent living as a plumber, but then his parents passed away within four years of each other and he couldn't cope with what happened. His wife filed for divorce. Five years later, his life was in shambles. He had no money. His tools had been taken. His girlfriend left him. His house was in foreclosure. This is when Nelson went off the deep end. Literally, he started digging a hole 17 feet deep in his backyard. He told his friends that there was gold down there. Nelson's breaking point made for a frightening reality on this day in 1995. A scary video by Annie Magic has gone viral in Russia because of how much creepy stuff is in it, beginning with a black plastic trash bag found while exploring an abandoned house late at night. What's inside confuses her as much as it does frighten. <laughs> It sounds like she says look, but it probably means something different in Russian. So tell me what this handwritten message really says. She looks up in time to see a car stop and drive off. It's strange to see anyone out here at all, let alone so late at night. And so she goes to where the vehicle last was. The grass is wet and cold underfoot, and it soaks through her shoes. It takes her a great while to get there, and then, much to her dismay, she finds what's been left behind. A car drives slow, headlights off, the brights flip when she's within grabbing distance. She runs for her life and must have gotten away because she has uploaded since then. I'm not sure if this video is scripted or not. She hasn't gone exploring any abandoned houses for years now, which makes me think this scary experience could be real. Al Capone has long held an obsession with exploring the scariest, most haunted places he can find. One of his creepiest videos ever has to be the time he went investigating a local cemetery at 3 a.m. God, I'm freaked out. <sighs> That's a spear. Can you do that again or maybe move that light switch? Turn on that light for me. The ghost does not turn off the lights, but what he accidentally caught on camera next convinced his subscribers and freaked them out. A ghostly figure appears beyond the stairs. He stares back to where it was, like he senses something so I think this paranormal sighting might be real. No random person would be at the cemetery at 3am. It could be a maintenance worker, 
which would explain why the closet door was open earlier. But that doesn't explain the strange noise coming from within the room, or why his light flickered when he heard it. Two months later, he takes a 15 minute hike through the woods to go exploring what he calls one of the most haunted places in the world, the Blair Witch House. Right here, previously to us documenting this place. What was that? Hello? Is anybody in this home? I'm just making a video. Myself, and I don't get really good phone reception, so if something was to happen to me, I just hate this place. <sighs> Yo, this place is so scary. I heard something in the kitchen. This place makes my anxiety run so high. I don't know if you remember me. I'm sure you do. I've done so many investigations here and I've caught you on camera many times. What the f What was that? The spirit takes him in circles, toying with him in his rising fear. I'm starting to feel like I'm hallucinating a little bit. Somebody back there! I'm not playing if someone's back there. Oh my god. I hate this house. I'm not messing around. I want you to reveal yourself. Whoa! It's happening again, dude. I hate this house, bro. They need to tear this place down. Oh! Oh! Yo! I'm closing the store. Yo. No. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there's a bat in the name of Jesus. There's a bat right there. Oh. He's freaking out and cornered when a bat flies under the door. It's seriously creepy and I don't know how this can be faked unless he somehow has a pet bat on hand, which I doubt. When he opens the door, no one's there. This investigation's a little too paranormal for his own good. Time to bail. My final analysis of both these ghost videos is that they are probably real. The first one might have been a cemetery groundskeeper, but it might have been a ghost and either way I don't think it was planned at all. The Blair Witch House video could have been a second person off camera, except for that bat under the door. Also, the Blair Witch House has been investigated by multiple channels, and the paranormal activity is fairly consistent, so I don't think he was faking any of it. Freaky, right? Rocking chairs moving on soon. This YouTuber's house is so haunted. His possessions act possessed even when brought outside. Take this rocking chair for example, which he records moving on its own. Not really that windy. When he looks around at 1 minute and 20 seconds, you can see the flowers and trees are still. Nothing is blowing in the wind because there is no wind, yet he makes a request to move the chair again. The ghost tilts the chair forward one time to confirm that yes, it is in fact there and fully aware. Can you rock it some more? Yeah. 
We got a visitor. There's a poltergeist afoot in this abandoned house. YouTuber Paranormal Mai investigates, and he soon discovers why the home has been abandoned. The falling of the tray at the beginning would have been enough to send me packing, but the chair slamming sideways at the end has me absolutely convinced that there's something here that doesn't want us here. I think we should show ourselves out. This phantom is on a shopping spree. Published by Phantom Encounter in April of 2020, security footage captured some strange activity in the shop after hours. A meditation book is thrown to the floor from a stand next to the owner's desk. A moment later, a loud noise is heard off screen, like something has been dropped to the floor. The owner says she's familiar with this noise because it happens frequently. One of the handmade lampshades has been thrown to the floor. What do you think is going on here? Jones Margaret writes in the comments, Considering the age of the building and its history along with the age of the buildings around you, it isn't surprising that you have so many ghosts. I have to agree, this activity does seem to suit the environment. A man is cooking in his kitchen when a black mist appears behind him. Look for it on the left side of your screen. The man has his back turned and does not seem to notice what's going on behind him. What's especially strange is how the black mist starts to back away from the door when the man heads into the other room. Once the homeowner is safely out of view, the mist turns very dark and quickly darts in front of the doorway. No clear explanation has ever been provided, though I'd like to hear your years. Whatever the thing is, it's never been recorded again since. Dennis Allen takes an inner tube down the local creek. It's something he's done often before, but this time it's raining and the currents are stronger than he has ever seen. Still, Dennis is confident in his abilities and bravely sets forward. The ride starts out gentle enough but soon picks up speed as he moves into more open waters. Soon he really begins to regret not bringing a paddle as he is carried through low-hanging branches and other thorny obstacles. He manages to keep his balance for about five minutes until it becomes apparent that he can no longer hold on. He is carried downstream and eventually clings to a bridge while water rushes beneath him. Dennis seems to be trying to stay calm, but I can detect some fear in his voice, perhaps more than he is meant to let on. He quickly realizes pulling himself out of the water is going to be a lot harder than he initially thought. Oh, this was something stupid. Oh, shoot. Dennis slowly works his way to the shallow end without letting go and eventually he climbs out with the help of a nearby bridge pole. Looking down, you can see he was clearly not exaggerating the danger. The current is strong enough to pull a full-grown man under. With the video title, Doberman vs. Mailman, I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. This one will get you all kinds of nervous. According to the video, paranormal events have occurred in Guadalajara, Mexico, when a tourist was visiting the cathedral where the saint lays, the young child's eyes opened. According to the website, La Obscura Habitación, the video was taken on December 12, 2012. 
The tourist, who took the video footage on his cell phone, claimed that he hadn't witnessed the child's eyes open at the time, but only saw it afterwards in viewing the video. The stories of how this saint became martyred are contradictory. Some stories call into question whether this is even the saint, as it's stated that all the reliquaries that remain of her are her skeletal hands. Whether this is the saint or not, the mystery begins and ends here. The girl is clearly past, has been for many years, and yet she's opening her eyes. While visiting an abandoned mental hospital in Allentown, Pennsylvania, Spirit Realm investigations captured what they believe is an apparition on camera. Watch the bottom right window, followed by the middle windows. Did you see that? Something seems to peek out and then shift between these two windows. To me, the shape in the bottom right window is convincing. It looks like a figure peeking out and then vanishing. But I think that could just be a reflection of light as the camera moves. It does seem to move in pace with the camera's movement, but the first one doesn't. That's for sure a legit apparition peering out at us. These are the home videos of two of the most evil Canadians ever, Paul Bernardo and Carla Homoka. The pair are a husband and wife team who took at least three lives in the early 90s. Although these home videos show the couple's normal everyday life, their wedding day, celebrating holidays, etc., investigators were haunted by the secret home videos of the pair committing horrific acts. After a plea bargain in which Carla claimed to have been an unwilling accomplice, she was sentenced to only 12 years, while Paul received a life sentence. However, the videotapes that came out after the plea agreement showed that Carla had been much more active in the events than she had claimed. Subsequently, the Canadian press called her deal with prosecutors, the deal with the devil. Carla was released from prison in 2005. She's now remarried and lives in Quebec. A motorcycle vlog turns paranormal when a man in India goes exploring down a long haunted cemetery road. His dash cam refuses to focus as he rides past the cemetery gates. So strong is the paranormal energy, he thinks he made a big mistake coming down here. And based on what happens next, I'd say he was right. Their lights chance upon a lone figure wearing a dress. There's no reason for anyone to be on foot out here at this hour. No flashlight or any source of light. Minutes away from a haunted cemetery. The figure is not a tree and appears to be stepping first towards and then away from them. I suppose it could be a pedestrian, but like I said, why someone would be roaming this eerie place is anyone's guess. You expect to see kids throwing temper tantrums at McDonald's, not grown adults. But this video goes to show that some of us never do grow up. The woman in the video stands pouting with her arms crossed at the counter. She was angry about her order, having returned her hamburger twice and demanded her money back. When the employee refused, the woman went and got a water dispenser and poured it out on the counter. She then pushed the cookie container off the counter as well. Still not satisfied, she picked up one of the yellow, slippery, when wet warning signs and flung it across the counter, presumably at an employee. She also pushed all three registers over the counter. According to the police report, the employee then warned her that she was calling the police, and this woman took that as her cue to go, but not before cussing the employee out like a sailor. While mental health or anger issues may be responsible for her actions, it's sad to see that staff members have to face events like this. 
Alone at night in an empty school? Nothing to fear, right? Wrong. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Bartholomew Blackwell. The Redditor states that he was working solo in a school that was shut down and empty when he heard a sound in the hallway. <laughs> The power had been put out by a storm the previous night, and with his flashlight on, he started recording. What he heard was haunting. In the dark school hallway, you can hear a faint wailing. It doesn't sound like anything recognizable, although Blackwell noted that to him, it sounded like a group crying. Some in the comments say that perhaps it's wind, or maybe even the Doppler effect of a vehicle of some kind, moving past the school at high speed, noting that he too thinks it could be the wind heightened by a lack of power supply noise. Gus2155 admits, as someone who is a custodian at a high school, I've heard some strange noises, but nothing like that. Some think it could be a hive of zombies, others suggest a water pipe is running, or a backup generator might be starting up. At least we know Blackwell got out alive. Scotty the NJ Medium is holding a ghost hunting expedition when he thinks he hears a growling noise. He wants the ghost to reveal itself, and that's when things do not go as they'd expected. What's the name of the person growling? The door opens, but what happens next is a total surprise. The spirit box says who's knocking, followed by two taps at the door. Obviously, no one is standing on the other side because you'd be able to see them easily. Yo, are you kidding? Scotty and his team admit they're not sure if the door was latched shut or not, but they say there's no wind. I'm pretty sure I can hear wind though, so I'll turn the sound up and you tell me what you think. Strange things have been happening in this guy's house, which he says seem demonic. Published by Cayman Poe in May of 2011, he and his friends are up at 1 in the morning, waiting to see if anything unusual happens. After a time, they hear something from outside the room. They go downstairs to check it out but find nothing. Hello? But after heading back to their room, they hear another sound, this one louder than the last. They return downstairs and notice that the bathroom door is now closed. When they tell the demon to show himself or reveal that he's there, he does. They race back upstairs while considering calling the cops, but when they hear the demon again, Hello? They are lured downstairs. The door is open. This time, the demon doesn't wait for them. Who left? What the fuck? What? A man from an unknown country is checking an old apartment when he is confronted by the spirit of its former inhabitants. First, something whispers behind him in another language, possibly Arabic, followed by movement. Then they slam the door he just walked through and raise the lock in midair, something that a person would not be able to do just from banging really hard on the other side. Orbs are going crazy, although it is pretty dusty in here. Anyway, pay attention to this side of the room. No one is here, yet in moments a paw flies from this direction, and when he turns around you can see the room is completely empty. <laughs> Phantom figures crouch low behind doorways and promptly disappear, and when he hears these running footsteps overhead, he knows it's time to leave fast. They sound heavy and are heading straight his way. First of all, what is a homunculus? The dictionary states that it's a very small human or humanoid creature. Wizzo97 uploaded this video instructing viewers how to make a homunculus in April of 2016. The video is in Russian, so bear with me. The man first rubs something that looks like isopropyl on an egg with a cotton ball. 
He then pokes the egg, injecting it with some substance. He then puts a band-aid over the hole in the egg and then places it inside a small plastic container. Next, he places it inside a beanie hat, likely to keep it warm. Later, he cracks the egg open with a knife, emptying the contents into the plastic dish. Out of the ooze, he picks up a larvae-looking creature with his tongs. At first, it remains still, then it starts moving around. Not sure what he was expecting. After all, he was creating a homunculus. All that is left of the humanoid is a small stain. Simply bizarre, confusing, and intriguing at the same time. A YouTuber named Jack Torrance says that he found this old VHS tape at a yard sale. Most of it is just a man walking through the forest while holding a stick for protection. There's very little sound except for footsteps and his labored breathing as he hikes onward. Later, night falls and the man is still going forward at a decent pace, maybe even faster than before. He appears disoriented and swings the camera wildly as he travels, almost like he has lost his way and is now panicking. Then, something makes him abruptly stop. It's hard to tell for sure, but it looks like some kind of green sack on the ground. Then it's pulled by a yellow string across the forest floor. When the cameraman looks up, he finds only darkness. It seems like whoever filmed this was alone the entire video, so I have no idea what was on the ground or, more importantly, who was pulling it away. Susan Payton Wine is enjoying some quality time with her family when she and her husband both noticed something grabbed the attention of their infant toddler. What am I doing? The child's face changes from amusement to confusion as he apparently turns to watch something pass by. Then, moments later, an orb silently streaks overhead. Even stranger are the song lyrics playing in the background. Something appears to walk past the child and possibly exit the room just as the children's song announces, Say Bye Bye. Josh is afraid of heights and his family is giving him a hard time about it. They bet him some money that he won't be able to stay on the ledge of a watchtower for long. He takes the bet and this is his immediate reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you gotta, you gotta be out for one whole minute. Josh's family ups the ante to $10. If he can make it all the way around the walkway, pale and shaky, he inches his way across the platform, timidly clinging to the wall at times to keep from falling over. At one point, it looks like he isn't going to make it much longer. I can't escape out here. Okay, I'm ready to turn around. No, nope. nope. I can't do it. There's people in the way. I can't stand up here for this long. <laughs> but he summons all of his strength and eventually makes it full circumference. If you have a fear of heights, then let me know if you would be willing to walk around this tower for 10 bucks like Josh just did, or if it would take way more to make you budge. This Area 51 video appears to capture no less than five bright lights traveling in a tight cluster. It kind of looks like the government could be testing military-grade flares at first, until the lights mysteriously stop in midair, hover for a bit, and then move in the exact opposite direction. These sophisticated flight patterns seem to suggest that they are piloted by intelligent beings. At the one minute mark, all the lights grow intensely bright and almost meld into one solid form, at which point a smaller piece breaks off and moves upwards. This looks like no aircraft that has ever existed before, and as far as many are concerned, it can only be one of two options, a top secret government prototype, or else actual aliens. While touring this haunted home, YouTuber Dimitri from A Sip of Fear finds that devilry is at play. First he hears it.
Later, after setting up some cameras, his work is thrown to the ground. It seems to me that the devil does not wish to be captured on camera, but he has no say in the matter. If I were Dimitri, I'd be getting out of there ASAP. A YouTuber named Julie G797 was watching live BBC News coverage of a worker's strike in Hong Kong when he catches what seems to be undeniable evidence of a UFO. There you go. Look at that. Descending on the top of that building. The mysterious green light hangs around the top of a building for only moments before shooting straight up into the sky. This footage was taken directly from the television screen and seems very hard, if not impossible, to fake. Right now, people are mostly debating if the light is too big to be a quadcopter drone. I guess it could be a drone, but if not, I think this very well may be a legitimate alien UFO sighting. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet, though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further their explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. A YouTuber named Area Awesomeness claims these pet leeches are for more than just a show. Apparently, they can help treat things, but the only way to experience these supposed benefits is by letting a leech latch on to you. And believe it or not, these ones are only about a year old and not even full size. Adults can grow up to two feet in length and would pack an even bigger bite. With this in mind, the whole situation stresses me out too much to try it, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think about this part. They can either be fed, I guess, human blood, animal blood, whatever you prefer. And if you would be brave enough to try, a YouTuber in Louisiana named Barris Bash tries to stay positive as his entire neighborhood fills with water, with everyone still trapped inside. What starts as some water in his backyard soon enters the home and becomes a total crisis. The YouTuber has the right attitude by not panicking. He puts on a brave face as he makes a video to help relieve the stress. At the same time, I can't help but notice the TV is still on. It's pretty high off the ground, but I think they should have shut off all power because any charge could electrify the very water that they're standing in. Yeah. Get the water around your house. Not that bad. Yeah. Eventually, when the water gets too high, they escape via canoe and row to dry land. If the family didn't have this canoe, then they would have been at the mercy of a rescue or one of their neighbors. That's not sludge you're looking at. Published by Casey Spotlight, a creepy sludge-like creature was captured on film in the shallows of a lake. The figure looks squidgy, mushy, rubbery, and above all, slimy. Its form seems malleable. Its movements is like an amoeba, altering its shape. It also appears to have a mouth, but one with no teeth and only grandma gums. Will some in the comments say it's a leech? If that's the case, it's the biggest leech I've ever seen. What do you think it is? Any theories? Daffy of Busan TV is a YouTuber from Ambon, Indonesia, who makes ghost hunting videos in Deepak City. One of the scariest, most haunted places he's ever gone exploring was a large abandoned hospital that shut down after too many things went wrong. Yeah, belum lama rumah sakit ini terbongkar, astagfirullah. One of the hospital's final mistakes before getting shut down was letting a nun named Sister Nancy pass away on the ICU floor. 
Now her angry spirit is watching over this haunted place and not in a loving way. Assalamualaikum. Wow. Antara gua halu atau tidak, tapi tadi gua ngelihat seperti ada orang lewat di sini. As Daffy goes exploring, only the smallest of clues, flashes of light where his camera is not pointing, for example, belie the presence of anything paranormal. A walled off entrance reveals an even older wing that feels entirely wrong. This place is haunted more than any other part of the hospital. He's sure of it. Soon he finds the ICU room on the second floor, the place where the ghost nun is said to haunt. He knows there's no turning back now. Tadi gue mendengar suatu dari arah sini. Oke, okay, kita langsung aja ke ruang ICU. Suster Neng sih. He leaves the ICU ward feeling extremely uncomfortable, but without conclusive paranormal evidence. And as he takes a final look around, keren, sumpah ini keren. Assalamualaikum. He hears something moving on wheels one room over. A row of cots remains undisturbed except for one that's been pulled out. I don't know if it was Sister Nancy, but I wouldn't stick around to find out. This video is over half an hour long, and I get every impression that he's truly exploring this abandoned hospital all by himself. A hospital that's every bit as haunted as the rumors say. A ghost investigating TikTok account called Gateway Paranormal TN experiences brief success when they detect the frame of a ghost standing on the table next to them. Go walk on the other side of the desk. But the ghost disappears when he tries to get closer. What's especially odd about this video is how the ghost seems to briefly lean forward as if trying to resist him and then gets bumped out of the frame. I was thinking this looked too small to be a ghost, but when compared to the wireframe of one of the ghost investigators, it seems to be in normal proportion. Whether it's a real ghost or just a computer error, they aren't able to recreate it, so it might have been a once in a lifetime occurrence to which we'll never get the true answer. It's gone. A man is all by himself when he hears a wild animal tearing through his home. Eventually, he corners it in the bathroom and cautiously enters with a camera. This is what he records moments before running away to call the police. A wide-eyed humanoid slowly straightens out while eyeing him with a calm expression. Like the uploader says, it's hard to tell if this was a human or not, and everything from genetic experiments to the rake has been suggested in the comments. Is this video real? And if so, what do you think it was? The news is pretty boring until something totally unexpected like this happens, and you'll never guess what it is. Two anchors are having a chat when their background gets bizarre. Ordinarily, I would say this is two different shots edited together. However, the crowd seems to stay the same as the man disappears. At four seconds, you can see the individual is crossing from left to right. They come out from the column soon after the man disappears, which indicates this was all one continuous take. This bizarre video caught my attention on the Chills Narrator subreddit. West for President is taking a trip in Bergen, Norway, filming some birds at the harbor, when something really creepy caught him by surprise. I am bird. What the f No. Oh, okay. What the f Is that a face? Oh, what the f when he zooms in on this odd, rat-like face, it is sticking out from the tunnel. I don't know if this tunnel is haunted or has an oversized creature problem or what, but it's enough to make West for President hold his scream in as he runs away. I would say that it's part of the structure, but there's no identical part on the other side of the wall. I don't know what it is, but if he thinks it's far from normal, then that's good enough for me. 
A husband and wife are sitting in the living room when one of them notices that the cat toy is moving all by itself. When it happens a second time a short while later, they rush to get the phone and start recording what could be an animal spirit in action. Oh my goodness. I spent a long time looking up remote controlled cat toys and none of them looked anything like this one. This toy is obviously small and soft, while remote controlled pet toys are much larger and are also made of plastic to protect the receiver. Considering the married couple claims to have had a cat pass away years ago, I have little doubt that it's now returning to its favorite toy and to its favorite owners. While investigating an old schoolhouse, this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening. Posted to the ghosts subreddit, Key Consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here. We had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom. This is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up. The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room, so it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. Further, as the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Helly, did you hear the word amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera instead of a ghost. But let's face it, they get creeped out in a scary part of the woods known to be haunted, stop to record, and then capture some strange sightings on tape. So maybe this is a paranormal ghost video. A YouTuber named Travis Andrew Barker and his brother were watching the movie Titanic one day when his brother noticed someone in the background who looked completely out of place. Travis wasn't sure if his brother was just messing with him, but as it turns out, he was telling the truth after all. If you could see right there, we pause the movie and there's Jack and there's Rose. If you look back there, you'll see the Slenderman. I honestly can't say that I've seen this movie that many times, so I'm not sure how legitimate this sighting is. If you are familiar with the movie and recognize the scene, then please let me know what is going on here and explain who this mysterious background character is. If nobody can come forward with details, then this very well may be the first Slenderman sighting in a Hollywood movie. Barack Alie offers this video as proof that his house is haunted, but maybe there is more to it than that. Listen to this part and tell me if you can hear a fan or some kind of air current or really anything that could be causing the door to slam like this. I've seen a draft cause a door to slam shut one time, but never over and over. Have you? Barack records the top and bottom of the door to show that no one is near it, so this absolutely has to be a one in a million problem with the ventilation system, or else the supernatural at work. A YouTuber named Nightshade stands at the top of his steps. After hearing noises coming from deep within his basement, every time he says something, orbs seem to follow. Hello? He tries to keep his calm as he makes a request of the ghost to confirm it's real, and they're with him. Watch as the orbs seem to go up the steps when asked. If you could come up the stairs for me if you haven't already done so, please do it now. If it was Mr. Gruders, you could go down the stairs, but Mrs. Gruders, you would not go down the stairs. 
and when he goes down the steps, one of his dogs seems hesitant to follow. They too seem to notice the abundant number of white circular orbs that now dance all around. A paranormal YouTube channel called Explore With Us goes ghost hunting after their subscribers told them to go back and investigate more at 3 a.m. The first time they saw mysterious lights, but this time they catch even more bizarre things on video. In the 1970s, a woman named Nan Dixon mysteriously disappeared somewhere around this unassuming Nevada countryside. It isn't long until they see what could be headlights, and the locals are not friendly, so it's time to get out quick. The strange lights mysteriously disappear soon enough, however, so maybe it really was just a passing car. As he drives up to one of the abandoned houses that the ghost of Nan Dixon is thought to haunt. He thinks they see a solid black ghost orb at 8 minutes, which would be beyond creepy to see, except I'm pretty sure it's just a smudge on their car windshield. With that said, I'm not sure what this strange 3am sighting could be, except for a phantom face slowly slinking away in the dark room. The battery to some of their camera equipment goes out after this strange sighting, and two mysterious lights are caught on tape as well, almost like spaced apart eyes under the shelf. Soon, their paranormal equipment begins to flash with supernatural energy, and the mysterious lights return stronger than ever before. They see another strange and mysterious flash of light that cannot be explained, and even when they go exploring a different abandoned house that's driving distance away, strange paranormal lights seem to follow. What is hiding in this deep, dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. What is moving in the darkness on this foggy road? The YouTuber thinks he spotted a skinwalker. He gets out of his car to take a closer look, but when he does... <laughs> skinwalker or not, you'd better run. Okay, this video is bizarre and just plain really weird. A kid on YouTube named Nature the Bee is making a random video about his cat. Little did he know that he caught a mysterious figure on camera. And that's the end of the first trailer. I hope you've enjoyed. Creeping around the house is a strange, ghostly apparition. It was not part of the skit he was doing at all and really has no place being there. Plus, the way it looks from behind the corner is beyond creepy. You can see some more scary stuff when you zoom in, like a freaky frowning face that the uploader thinks could be a ghost or a demon sighting caught on video. I think this video could be edited, but if not, then I'd say his house is definitely haunted by something paranormal. Ever felt like you were being watched? These three boys definitely had reason to. Posted by the comics man to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes, Some dudes go to the Danakil Desert or a park. What is in the first frame? The video shows three kids getting ready to do some parkour, everyday kid stuff, but not far beyond in the background. Look at what is watching them from a nearby tree. The figure appears like a silhouette and gives off serious Slenderman vibes. The ominous way it's lurking there makes the otherwise innocent parkour video intensely creepy. You can vaguely see the figure again at a distance, at 1 minute and 43 seconds. It continues to stand there in the clump of trees, and again around 3 minutes in. What is this thing? 
Do these boys have a lurker? Nowhere is safe. While attempting to give a virtual tour of his home, this YouTuber discovers something unsettling. His home is haunted. Let's take a look. Notice that the table and chairs are all set, everything appears normal. He passes them again on the tour, again normal. After touring the rest of the house, he returns to the dining room. This is where things get spooky. I don't know about you, but that creepy ending definitely left me feeling very unsettled. YouTuber Tim Morozov always encounters terrible things, but this demon takes the cake. When he requests that the demon shows itself, it does so with gusto. Don't ask something you don't want the answer to. Later it reveals itself. Well, that was terrifying. And the terror doesn't end there. Something's in the room with him. Later, he finds a toy horse in this basement room. After moving across the room, he turns to find that the horse moved. Who are you? Are you here? When he turns on the camera in the room, he discovers the demon is near. Tim attempts to touch the demon. But the demon disappears. Where did it go? I'm afraid that Tim got too close to it, and perhaps it possessed him. It's late at night, and YouTuber Molly the Leg is the only car on the road. When he sees something that doesn't make sense, follow the curvature of the road and look in the distance to see it. What's that? What? What? I, I saw somebody on a bicycle or something like that. Up ahead, Molly the Leg sees a bright light cross the road and then suddenly disappear. What's also strange is how the street lights start flickering when this happens. He has no idea what the moving light was. It couldn't have been a car because there was nowhere for vehicles to go but straight. Molly the Leg even used Google Maps to verify this. So I'm at a complete loss. This quick EVP is a direct message from the beyond. Have you got down ladders in that spaceship? Um. Have you got down ladders in that spaceship? Um. I'm sure you'll hear it. There's a crystal clear male voice whispering, Go away. No one in the room seems to notice it. I don't think there's much room for interpretation here. The spirit gave us an order, so we should probably listen. This seems like his one warning. Um. While house sitting for his aunt, Reddit user Notel4117 saw something on a nanny cam that freaked him out. First, he shows us the room in question. So this is my aunt's son's room. Right. There's no one in here. Right. 
nothing. Then he shows us what he saw right on the monitor here. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Like... Does it look like something standing in the room to you? Like, I've, I've checked, like, went back and forth three times, and I... <sighs> he even does a side-by-side -side to try and make sense of it. So, okay. Nothing, right? Like, what the f He then sets up the monitor, grabs a ball from another room, and throws it in there to see if anything changes on the monitor. Okay, alright. <laughs> there is definitely something in there. The mysterious figure is still there. Many in the comments think the T-Rex and other items in the room may be casting shapes that create the shadow figure's form. Like others in the thread, I'm thinking it's probably a shitty nanny cam that doesn't capture shadows in their subtleties. So many objects in the room are coming together to make what looks like a figure. After all, the camera did make the T-Rex look like a terrifying baby. James Parr records his young nephew as he shrieks at something he sees on the wall. This continues for quite some time. It's hard to tell what the child is thinking, but it seems like a combination of nervousness and excitement. More than once, he appears to back away, as if he is fearful of something that is nearby. The child does seem to be completely fascinated by an otherwise blank wall, which is strange, but I am not so sure that this video is paranormal. The kid may just be playing games with his own shadow. What do you think is going on here? A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known only as Hai claims to have caught a real gin on camera while exploring an abandoned house that he knows is haunted. I can't tell if this is a gap in the curtains or a ghost in the window. He presses onwards and reaches the second floor before things get beyond creepy. Something paranormal is making movements. Bismillah. Since staying one step ahead of the paranormal explorer at all times. Bismillah, Bismillah, الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء. The excited ghost hunter runs from room to room trying to keep up, praying for strength all the while. <laughs> as the ghost apparently runs into a tall cabinet, I can't help but wonder if it's just as afraid as he is. Bismillah! <laughs> Cornered and with nowhere to go, the spirit finally has to rely on its supernatural defenses to get out of there quickly. Scary noises are heard all around, doors shutting, cabinets opening, and soon a strange and bizarre paranormal mist floods the room. It's hard to say if this was real paranormal activity or dust kicked up from him throwing objects everywhere, but I think it's probably real and most certainly is creepy. 
This next video, made to raise awareness, is supposed to replicate voices in your head. Among the many visual and audio delusions is one in particular that really gets to me, a girl with no eyes who appears at random. The girl with no eyes is apparently very common and reported by many. The following scene is an example of how she usually comes to them, or rather for them. She is scared. Nowhere is safe from the girl with no eyes because once she is in your mind, there's nowhere to hide. This is what it's supposed to be like when she finds you. No one knows why so many people have reported seeing the exact same figure. Maybe it's a subconscious manifestation of a common fear we all have. Or maybe it's some type of possession that's driving people to madness. If this video is just a simulation, then I can only imagine how terrifying the real thing must be face to face. When inanimate objects start taking life around your home, maybe your house is cursed a la Beauty and the Beast, or maybe it's haunted by a poltergeist, post it to YouTube by Horrifying Nightmares in January of 2013, the YouTuber explains, Last week we captured footage of a bull scooting across the table. Some said it was a string, but this time the bull flew into the air, cups scooted across the table and the entire table shook. Noting that the video speaks for itself, let's see if it does. The video shows a little boy playing at a table. In front of him is a red bull with something inside. The boy plays for a time without incident, but the minute he walks away from the table, the bull slides on its own to the left. In a later clip, the same red bull flies from the table. Another blue bull and green cup slide across it. Then the table jumps up, shaken by the paranormal. Would you be interested in eating at this poltergeist table? I think I'm gonna pass. A YouTuber named Nellis is exploring a haunted mansion in Bosnia where many people lost their lives during a dark chapter of their nation's history. Active minds dot the surrounding woods so they have to head straight inside. One of the first things they see is what they think are belts hanging from the ceiling that people could have looped around their neck, though I think they could have been hooks from hanging lamps. And there's them belts again. Look up there, there's some belts. Do people hang themselves? There's definitely people here. I think they sat around there. We see them again up close for a couple of minutes later, and they aren't belts at all. But I still don't know what they were used for. But wait, forget about the ceiling. Look at what's hanging against the wall. Going back to the first clip I mentioned earlier, it seems it was there all along. Ghost Hunter Simply Serret has a profoundly paranormal experience while exploring a haunted house in India. He sets a wind-up toy on the ledge of a window as a way for a ghost to communicate its presence. They are kind of goofing around when suddenly things get very serious and very creepy. <laughs> They think laughter is coming from the window, but then they hear more scary stuff from above. They run into the room with the wind-up toy, only to hear more noises following close behind. Running footsteps sends them rushing out of the house, and as they flee, the wind-up toy moves by itself. He holds it up to the camera to make sure the paranormal evidence is caught on tape. He has one hand on the camera and one hand holding the toy. There's no tie for him to have wound it up. <laughs> and the wind-up toy somehow continues to move on its own as they run into the forest away from the abandoned haunted house that has scared them so terribly bad. Ooh, 
It's 1.40 in the morning and two friends are cruising down a dark road, completely unable to see what's on the other side. They both think that they spot movement in the trees, and having nothing better to do, they pull over and shine their headlights into the area. Nothing happens for some time, and then a figure slowly emerges from the dry brush. One of them says that they think this is a witch, and I agree that could be a possibility. They are dressed in all black and hunched over holding what appears to be a walking stick. If this is not fake and that's not a third friend, then I can't imagine what anybody would be doing walking in complete darkness all alone, especially so late at night. How would you feel if your CCTV camera caught this? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by RelevantHole5903, this footage of a woman in white was caught on camera in the dark of night. It shows a ghostly figure in white crossing the grounds outside of a gated building with barbed wire fixed to the top. The stranger walks slowly in her flowing dress until she leaves the camera's sight. Some are suggesting this is a classic walk of shame. Others think the Redditor lives next to some shady stuff, but some are sure it's the legendary La Lorena. If it is, stay clear of water, because the legend goes that she would take your life in the water. Redditor Blues Forever 67 writes, This is one of those instances where I think, what if we see ghosts all the time, but they're so vivid that we just think they're people? I have to agree with that statement. My mind has been blown by this footage. It's 3 a.m. when three friends decide to walk down this haunted road. At 3 minutes and 13 seconds, they turn their headlights on and off, which I think they are supposed to do to make something scary happen. Then he begins rolling around like a possessed man. He has a lot to say when he snaps out of his apparent possession, and I would like to understand, in his words, what he just went through. If you speak the language, please tell me what is being said here, and if you think it's real or fake. I don't see any tears, but he looks really stressed out, so overall, I'm not sure what to make of this bizarre event. Barry is positive that a spirit is moving around stuff in his house, so he takes a random object, puts it in the middle of the floor. This cat toy is remote controlled, so he puts the controller next to the toy to show that he is not messing with it at all. Nothing happens until almost four minutes into the video. Okay. Then nothing else happens until another four minutes later when suddenly there's a second burst of movement. When it moves on its own a third time, Barry is confident that he has gathered enough evidence and stops recording. My only explanation is that Barry actually has two of these cat toys and was holding a second remote controller in his hands. However, you can just tell by looking at the controller that the big plastic buttons would probably make a loud clicking noise when pressed. Yet I never hear the button being pressed at all. Well, I think there is a good chance that this is real. Maybe Barry could record this again while showing himself in a mirror, just so we can see there is nothing in his hands. There's an eerie sound coming from the Golden Gate Bridge that is making people lose their minds. A constant haunting hum that can be heard from miles away. Try to guess what it is. Between the red rails is where the mysterious noise is coming from, and as it turns out, this is from a mistake in a recent redesign of the bridge. The new rails were mistakenly spaced apart just enough to let the wind come screeching through at an unbearable volume. It happened in June of 2020, and as of the time of this video, I was unable to find any evidence that it's been fixed. This pair of videos is double spooky. These clips, published by T Razor88 in August of 2010, purport to show a demon in the woods. Some friends were exploring the forest at night, attempting to capture paranormal orbs on camera. But what they caught is even more terrifying. Look closely at the background of this photograph. 
taken of Tom. Something is hiding behind a tree beyond, its white hand reaching around one of the limbs. Its head appears to be peeking around, one glowing eye clearly visible. The uploader thought it could be some kid trying to play a trick on them, but he says everyone in their group was accounted for. And this certainly doesn't look like a kid. Is some forest demon keeping an eye on them? Or are they being hunted? This radio DJ is live on air when all of the lights go out. Some of his equipment is still on though, so this is not a normal blackout. He is all alone and doesn't know what to do, so he calls someone for help, probably a management at home or technical support. That's when a cloaked figure passes by the window and makes him put down the phone. He creeps to the window and looks down the hall. Whoever it was is already gone. The next call he makes, I'm sure, is to the cops. According to him, this radio station has very high-tech security that requires thumbprints authorization to get in. Nobody should have been walking around after hours, especially not somebody dressed in ancient robes with their head down. YouTubers Casadores de Sombras investigate the spirit of the old Macubero in this scary video. While exploring the spirit's lair, they are startled by an unexplained sound. Oh, oh! Yeah. As they're investigating the matter, another noise is heard in the next room. But again, nothing. They then do some type of ritual involving dropping a chain in a well, presumably to call up the spirit, and the ritual is successful. Shortly after, the spirit shows itself. Is this the old Macubero? Whatever this spirit is, I'm pretty sure it's not friendly. A YouTuber named Melmer4564 has a unique problem with her apartment home, an unwanted visitor who simply won't go away. You might not see it now, but it sees you. This small crescent shape looks like a human face, no matter what angle you look at it from. Even when the camera is fully tilted, you can still tell that is the left side of someone's face. How did this get here? And more important than that, why is it not going away? These two are having the time of their lives, but not everyone has come to the party. Posted on TikTok by Vina Saputri2, this scary video shows a pair having a grand old time swimming by a waterfall. But as the camera swings around, a creepy figure is seen sulking in the background. The mysterious figure lurks nearly out of sight along the rocks by behind some overhanging brush. It looks like a young girl with dark hair wearing white. Why is it watching them? Is this about to crash their party? She certainly doesn't throw off any party vibes. More creepy stalker vibes in my opinion. A reality show that can take a dark turn. Whale Wars follows the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society as they confront whaling fleets over environmental issues. The society has often faced off with a Japanese whaling fleet, year in and year out. By season 3, in the episode titled Sliced in Two, the two parties decide enough is enough, it's time to have it out. Up until this point, the battle has been confrontational, but not terrifying. The Sea Shepherd's arms of choice, paint, spud shooters, and noise disruptors. The whalers, strong and effective water cannons. This time, however, the whalers go all in, heading straight into the shepherd's small ship. The Addy Gill is then, as the episode is so aptly titled, sliced in two. The ship lies in shatters on the open sea. The crew can't contact anyone via radio. It's one of the scariest moments in reality TV history. Even worse, 
The whalers start to lower an inflatable boat into the sea, likely to capture the crew and take them on board. The open sea is scary enough. Imagine being surrounded out there on the waters by your worst enemy. Luckily, the shepherds are able to save their crew in time. Everyone survives, and no one is captured. A happy ending to another scary event caught live. You spot something out of the corner of your eye at night. Maybe you're not just seeing things. I came across this image and tried to track down its original source. I found its thumbnail image to be associated with this video, shared by the channel, Los Miores Top 10, that is now trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. Watch to the left. This freaky figure was captured on a dash cam at the side of the road. I tracked down the original source of this clip to YouTuber Vincent LaRiche. Watch again. Is it just our imaginations? Could it be something other than a spirit or an actual human hitchhiker? I don't know. It does look like a human figure to me. Even more chilling, according to the original source, this stretch of road, known as A22 Caterham Bypass, is reputed to be haunted. While I can't be absolutely certain that this figure is paranormal, after watching this clip, I'll go a hundred miles out of my way to avoid this route at night. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.